What's shaking, internet? Hello and welcome back to another edition of The Stream You Deserve! Tonight is going to be a glorious stream because we are re returning to the land of Shapir. We are returning to Quest for Glory 2 and we are gonna kick some major butt. Now, when last we left the hero we deserve, we did battle with a wind elemental, we did battle with an earth elemental, that means we fought three out of four elementals. A water elemental is coming to Shapir, and we're gonna have to throw down. We met a bunch of crazy new NPCs, including a bizarre-ass monster in the middle of the desert for whom we must make a dispel potion, which is gonna be our primary quest tonight. And, uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows what adventures await? Who knows what lies in store? But we will find out. Alrighty, here we are. Almost halfway through this game. And, uh... I gotta say, I don't like this one as much as the first one. <laughs> this game gets better with age. Welcome back, Ultra Minimalist. What's up? How you doing tonight? We got a Fire Elemental. We got an Earth Elemental. We got a Wind Elemental. Who knows what's gonna go down with the water elemental that will inevitably be showing its ugly mug tonight. Him. Now, first, let's see if anybody has anything to say about our glorious triumph over the uh, earth elemental. Yeah, no point in talking to this cat fucker. He's just, uh, he just says the same things day after day after day. What about you? Musician seems to be busy, you. The cat quickly bows to acknowledge your greeting and then moves on. Nobody has any fucks to give about us defeating an earth elemental. Maybe Uhura's got something to say. Hey, what's shaking, Numu? Welcome back. Looks like you need more practice today. You be getting plenty good. You're damn right, Uhura. What is that? What, how are our stats? We're at, okay, weapon use. Um... Yeah, 191. We're getting pretty strong, guys. And how am I not at full stamina when I went to sleep? Oh, you know what? Maybe I saved maybe I saved at a different point in the day. Midday. Okay. Okay. So I already I already did a little bit of walking around before I uh got got jumped. Rakish, you got anything to say to me? Shapir has many tales to tell. Of what do you wish to discuss? The stories told about Razier suspect that it's uh, okay. Whatever, Gugu -goo Mafahimit. Drinking, gaming. What else is new? Hell yeah, man! That's my kind of life. All right, we're gonna we're gonna practice with Ohura because it's been a minute since I've played this game. Just you know, get used to the combat. We have beaten her before, so it's not completely one-sided. Holy shit! Rakish is going to watch. I wonder if he says anything different on this screen. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's, uh... Oh, we can fight him. We're gonna... We should try that. But first, let's see what he has to say about swords. The sword is the finest of weapons. It requires both skill and strength in order to wield correctly. Your physical strength determines the damage dealt by your blows, but power only makes a difference if you're at least as good a swordsman as your opponent. You know, I'm sure Rakish believes that deep in his heart, but I've gotten through most of the fights in this game by alternating pressing 7 and 9 and going, So, like, I guess that's what that's the key to being a good swordsman. Skill is what really matters in combat. A talented swordsman can adapt his style the second the situation requires it. If someone only depends on his physical power in combat, he may be better off wielding a club. Whoa, huge diss to clubbers out of nowhere. What the hell is wrong with you, Rakish? Uh, training. Training is vital to a warrior's prowess. You can afford to make mistakes and learn from them. Real combat, blah blah blah, gravely injured, even dead. In order to become a warrior in Uhura's tribe, one must be speedy, accurate, and agile. This is easily recognized in her fighting style. Agility mobility, get better of her opponents. Properly evading or blocking Uhura's attacks. We've already won, so you shut the fuck up, you lion mofo. You fight me. I am sorry, but I know little of the art of fighting with a dagger, and thus would not be an appropriate sparring partner for you. 
There are several techniques. When not the universe, an inverse swing can be used to follow up a swing for an additional damage. An overhead slash can be used to blah, 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 when you are forced to jump back. The leaping lunge, I've gotten that to work. What about the overhead slash? That's new to me. The inverse, oh my god, it's a lot of text. The inverse swing is a quick and easy follow-up whenever your initial swing connects. Repeated double swings can wear down enemies. To do the inverse swing, tap keypad during the last part of the swing. Okay, well, I'm never going to remember that. Let's just fight Uhura. Let's just do it. Let's just get it on. Let's get this party started. I'm sick of beating you. <laughs> oh, what? Why am I using a dagger? Oh, shit, that's right. My sword is in the chest. This is bad. Uh, I'll harm you. And I'm also at a massive advantage starting at, like, half my uh, usual stamina. Yeah, that's that's how, that's what works, man. <laughs> it works though. That's right. I forgot that I left my sword in the chest. We'll have to go back and get that shit. <laughs> Watch my actions. Move before I do. I'm pretty sure I just did, lady. Swinging your sword, then moving back into neutral position, often leaves openings in your enemy's defense expo uh, uh, bleh, exploited. Next time you fight, try following up a normal swing with a secondary swing. I've been doing that. Oh, he's just gonna tell us this anyway. Seven, home. Immediately after an inverse swing, jumping back. The lunge, leaping lunge. Okay, yeah, I know. That guy thinks he's so dope. I want to go back and get my actual weapons. Yeah, we spend an hour hanging out with Rikishi and Uhura. It's like, what's good, guys? How are you doing tonight? So today's one of those filler and grind days where we just don't actually do anything. Well, that's not true. Where the story doesn't advance. Oh, no, wait, we gotta work on that potion. That's what we gotta be doing. And let's get our, let's get our goods back. Uh. So that's how we open it. Do I look at the chest? Here we go. I retrieve the sword. I retrieve the shield. I guess I'll take the x-ray glasses. Why not? No reason not to. Okay. Now, I don't remember the ingredients for the potion. I know we need a griffin feather, which we have. We need to get a hair from the creature, which I don't think we need to worry about. And, well, no. Well, that'll be the last thing we have to worry about, I should say. And we need something else that I don't remember what it is. So let's go talk to the apothecary, see what he knows, see what's up with him. Ah, I did not notice you come in. Welcome back. If you see something that interests you, dispel po- Wait, whoops. Dispel potion. Griffin's feather. The fruit of compassion. That's right. We need the fruit of compassion. So, you know what? Let's go talk to Aziza. Because, obviously, the fruit of compassion is going to come from helping that tree lady. And Aziza knows all about the tree lady. So, let's go. Let's go see what the deal is. Ooh, and also, we talked to the astrologer about our destiny. Let's see if he's done the work there. It is good that you returned. There is much I need to tell you. Alas, never before have I read such troubling signs as those which guide you. Your future is very dark. Tell me. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more. Darkness will lead you into a tomb. You will walk in fire, earth, water, and air, through temptation, and at last into despair and desolation. When am I going to start screaming again? Probably when we start the next fight. Whenever, whenever we get into another fight. Darkness will triumph unless you stop the last light. Maybe you should consider a new line of work and get out of this hero business. Have you considered accounting? Okay, so... We got our fortune told. It's gonna suck. Great. 
Good to know. Very glad to hear that. Aziza. Let's see what Aziza has to say. I said, let's see what Aziza has to say. Welcome, the hero we deserve. I know it's a different voice than I've been doing for Aziza, but I've decided she should sound like the sorceress from He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Come in, sit down, and we shall speak. Hang on, first we gotta, we gotta be polite as fuck. Welcome. It is good to have a visitor who understands the proper way to enter conversation. Tell about Beast. Please, you must sit down and relax before we shall speak of what you seek. Okay, lady. I'll sit down. I'll take it. I'll cop a squat. Shall we share tea? She is, she is pretty hot, not gonna lie. <laughs> yes, I would like some tea. The tea is cool and refreshing. You find yourself relaxing as you drink and listen to the sound of flowing water. Now that we have shared tea, what is it for which you have come? Uh... Tell about Beast. You tell Aziza everything you know about the caged beast. There is some form of magical protection around the cage which prevents me from detecting it. It is clear that a powerful magic user intends the creature to die. The beast is probably enchanted. You will need a dispel potion to find its true form. That's the thing we're doing, lady. That's the idea. Uh... Thank Aziza. You are most welcome. Let's see, was it under the desert? The fruit of compassion. Here we go. That is indeed a sad tale. Let me show you of what you speak. Of which we speak. Pardon me. Ha ha ha. I will tell you a tale. We've already told this story. It's depressing. There once was a woman. And it sucked to be her. So she turned into a tree. The end. You could be the one to give her back her soul and free her heart from wood. You will try this, hero, will you not? Right. Free her from wood. Right. There are three things you must give her to save her. A gift of kindness, a gift of magic, and a gift of love. The gift of kindness is simple. It is only what you would give to someone who has been in the desert far too long, watered her. We've done that. Then you must tell her of yourself. We've done that. The gift of magic is the gift of sacrifice. It must be something you gained through hardship and from aiding others. It also must be something from which a plant can gain strength. Probably the earth elemental, I'm thinking. Yeah? Tell her how you got the gift. You'll be reminding her of why she became a healer. The last gift is simple, a mere gesture of affection. Remind her there are still people in the world who care about others. We've done that too. We have to give the give the tree a hug, and we did. So we just need to give her dirt. Hooray. So heroic. Finally, there's something who ne you need to say to her, to remind her who she is. Her name is Julana, flower of the pomegranate. His pants blend in with the pillow, it's true. It's like this is just shadowy butt right here. When you have done this, your part in her tale will be complete. Julinar will not be able to walk this land as a human woman until another frees her with the power of true love. But you can at least free her spirit by giving her these gifts. Right. What's a pomegranate? You will find her within a day's ride to the east at the base of the mountains. May you heal the healer, the hero we deserve. All right, we know what we need to do. It has been a pleasure, pleasure conversing with you. Perhaps you will have tea again sometime. All right, let's uh, let's go free the tree lady. Good day, hero. What's up? Time for me to, uh, 
extract my mount, whose name is apparently Roger, but I named Dino De Laurentiis, so, you know, you guys pick which one you like more. And we're off! You know, I'm gonna save just because we, uh... We've made some progress, and this way we don't have to do that again if we die. That'll be nice. Yeah, listen to that soundtrack. Glorious indeed. Oh, whoops. Nope, nope, come on. There we go. There we go. I have a feeling this is going to be a Wham! episode. We're going to be making lots of progress today. And it'll be nice to take a break from Donkey Kong. Uh, I think she's this way. I'm pretty sure. There we go. You drink the last few drops from your water skin. You might want to start looking for a place where we can refill it. Crap. Okay. Well, hopefully it won't make us water her again. Hopefully the first time we did it will count. I mean, I'm sure it will. We, uh... It gave us points for it. I can't see how it wouldn't. That is the earth elemental. So let's, uh, let's give her some earth. The elemental earth seems to sparkle a bit in the light as it settles down into the soil around the plant. Hell yeah, and with that, we are over halfway done with the game. You tell about how you fought the earth elemental and how hard it was to defeat. You tell how your friends needed you. The hero business is a dirty business, but somebody's got to do it. Indeed. Oh, look at her flower. And now I think we just hug her. Julinar. Julinar's leaves rustle lightly at the sound of her name. Enough already. Uh, or do I do... Is it use? Hug tree. Yeah! There we go! We got the fruit of compassion! A purple fruit has been created on one branch of the tree. The fruit of compassion drops into your hands. Julinar's gift to you for restoring her spirit. Hey, thanks. You carefully put the fruit away. Good stuff. Now let's, uh... Tree rustles its leaves. Enough already. You think she likes you. Okay, well, that's, uh, that's it for the tree lady. Let's ride on back to town. Ooh, you know what? I forgot this is a thing we can do. Just say return to city. Um, and then we'll refill our water skin. See if uh, Herrick will accept our first two ingredients. And then we'll go and dispel the potion on that weird-ass creature that keeps eating us. I know, they keep playing the Halo theme. Funny stuff. See, like, look at all the things we've had to do today. That's what this game should have been like the whole time. <laughs> Fill our water skin. Good shit. Yo, Herrick. What's up, my man? Well, I got some cool things. Scope this out. Ah, I did not notice you come in. Welcome back. I still need the feather of the griffin. You need to add the victim's hair at the last moment. Uh, don't you mean, uh, like, victim? Aren't we helping them? I don't know if victim's the right word for that. This will only take me one second. There. I do for you what I would not for another. This is a gift for all you have done for the city. I have made up three potions from what you gave me. 
Remember to have the victim drink the potion in order to break the spell. You will need to remember to add a freshly collected sample of the victim's hair before the victim drinks it. You take the three potion bottles and put them away. Okay, that seems important. That seems like a thing we're gonna we're probably gonna end up need, needing to do this two more times. Now, really, please excuse me. I must get back to my work. Look at that! It's just sh shitting points at us now. <laughs> Okay, uh, guess we'll save, and let's go, uh, let's go hang out with, uh, the weird monster thing. See if we can't find a way to get the, uh, get the hair. Of, like, it's like a snake rat, like, definitely snake rat. And then it's, like, one other creature, too, that I don't remember what it's a part of. Good day, hero! What's shaking, man? Hey, how long until the caravan leaves? Five days. Okay. Something tells me that, uh, we will be part of that caravan by the end of this stream. Wow. Wow. Okay, now let me make sure I remember how to get to the friggin' guy. Let's see, we go west. We go repeatedly west. Past the griffin. Speaking of which, I really hope I can make it to uh, being a paladin. I feel like I've done everything right so far, so I don't... Oh, no, 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 go up, go back up. I don't want... I don't, know, I don't even know you could go down from there. It's that way, and now we ride down, because this desert sucks. Here we go. Freaky thing, coming in hot. All right, how are we going to save this chump? Creature's been in there for a couple days. You don't dare get any hair as long as the beast is staring at you. Um, that's right. We got it. We got to distract it. Here, buddy. I got food. Swallows the dried meat and fruit. He's chowing down. Get the hair. I think that worked. I think that's what that point is supposed to represent. Get some hair from the beast, mix into the Dispel Potion. Alright, the Dispel Potion is good to go. Let's do it! The beast laps greedily at the potion. Oh, it's... Oh, it's... Frida Kahlo? I guess not quite, not quite the... Eyebrows. I know not who you are, or why you saved me, but you are a fool if you expect to be rewarded for it. I am Al Skurva, an apprentice sorcerer. My former master, Ad Avis, transformed me into that monster and left me to die. Ad Avis? Ad Avis? Ad Avis? Johnny Fuckface, whatever, <laughs> left me to die. He'll be most displeased that I am still alive. Do not think he will be unaware of your interference. He will be watching you from now on. Ad Avis, tell him to bring it on. Ad Avis. Johnny Fuckface. I'm just going to call him Johnny Fuckface. I will give you a warning. Do not go near Johnny Fuckface unless you have some spell of protection or are very quick. If he manages to throw a spell at you, you will either be his willing servant or else transformed into a creature most resembling your soul. Oh, so this lady is Snake Rat. Apparently that resembles her soul. It's a huge diss. There is some major ritual magic he has planned for when the moon arises between the scorpion's claws and the dragon's teeth. That sounds bad. That sounds like a thing we can't let happen. We gotta destroy the moon. If he succeeds in this, it would be best not to be in this land. I certainly will not be. And look at her, she's like, ah, da, 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 da. You know what, I should have informed that. I usually use that to inform my reading. Just remember, Johnny Fuckface awaits you in Razier! Oh. Oh, yeah. Thanks for the food and water. Okay. 
You grab a handful of rocks. Oh, we're over encumbered now. Great. Well, I guess we'll just throw rocks at the cage. Get that throwing stat up. Rocks for everybody! Yeah, fuck you, cage! Fuck you! Uh, 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 uh. How many rocks did we pick up? No wonder we got over encumbered. I'm carrying 10 now. Holy shit, so I just had like 30 rocks. Might as well just run out of them, they don't do anything for us. All right, good shit. Now uh, let's go. Let's go talk to the dervish, who should be somewhere around here, cause he was the one that was like into the whole we need to deal with this beast thing. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and before we do that, even. Oh no 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 no! Go stop it! Stop with the auto running! By God, by far the worst part of this game. Well, I don't know about that, actually. <laughs> hey! You know, I stopped playing Fallout 2 for a little bit because I was tired of fighting scorpions. But some things were just destined to do. Oh, oh fuck me! Okay, we're gonna have to do that again. I'll save after this time, so we'll just, uh, so we won't have to deal with that trouble. And I'll pop some pills while I'm at it. Give me the, give me the hair. Come on, give me that hair. I should have saved. Yeah, yeah, Ed Avis, a.k.a. Johnny Fuckface. He's gonna be real mad. That's probably our main villain. Sure, unless it's that Iblis guy that uh, Aziza talked about. Source's natural home instinct sets us on the right path. Good shit. Good shit. Okay, so we go one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three. I'm just looking up how to get back to the dervish because I don't really feel like dealing with... Okay, so one, two, three... Four, five, one, two. What? Never mind. I guess, uh, guess I can't trust this map. After all. Uh, okay. Well, I guess, you know what? The dervish was a chump. He sucked. So let's just forget forget about the dervish. He's a silly guy. Or wait. Is it switched on account of the directions swapping? Yeah, chumps. This game is full of chumps. Land of the chumps. Top to bottom. Wall to wall chumps. Oh, hey, there he is. Hey, chump. I freed your beast. I did the beast deed. It doesn't say much. Ask about, uh... No, that's not it. Okay, so I guess he doesn't have anything to say about the beast. Despite the fact that he gave us our uh, quest, freedom. Freedom like temper, only valued when lost. Okay, man. Have it your way, dude.
I guess, uh, I guess I'll just go back to town. See if anybody has anything to say about dispelling the curse on the beast. You know what? I bet Aziza is going to be happy to know we got the Fruit of Compassion. Let's go talk to her. And we'll talk to the Apothecary. And we'll just talk to all the regular folks. Good day, hero. What's up? I freed a freaky lady. And we'll see if anybody knows uh, Ad Avis, a.k.a. Johnny Fuckface. Which I will be calling him. Uh, we'll talk to the apothecary first. Ah, I did not notice you come in. Greet. He's making pills. Okay, he doesn't have anything... He doesn't have anything to say. Alright. Uh, maybe Aziza. And if not Aziza, then I'll probably just go to town and... Or go to town. Go back to the inn and go to bed. Okay, well, how about now? There we go. There we go. Oh, and the astrologer. He's probably going to want to talk about the scorpion and the, uh, the, uh, the dragon teeth. The moon shit. Welcome, the hero we deserve. Thank you for the kindness you have shown Julanar. You are a true hero for helping her. Come in, sit down, and be welcome. Okay, cool. See if she knows anything about Adavis. Adavis. Adavis? Adavis? That's why I'm calling him Johnny Fuckface. Shall we share tea? You bet. Okay. Uh... The caravan is currently the only way most people can travel to Razia or the lands beyond. Very well. What would you like to discuss? Okay. Iblis. That's right. Iblis is in a tomb. That's got to be important later. Okay, we've talked about we've done we've done all this before. Okay, so she doesn't she doesn't know anything about Ad Avis either. Okay. Or you know what? I wonder. Okay, these are all conversations we've had before. If you're wondering why I'm skipping them. Uh... My magic is very practical. I know many things that go on in this land. Unfortunately, Rezir has been closed to my far seeing since the Emir vanished. Soon I will try a different type of spell to see if I can get any more information. <laughs> oh my god, she would be, she would totally be a Karen. Yes, Aziza would 100% be an old-timey Karen. My spells allow me to see things at a distance and to know their true nature. Magic can be misused for ill purposes. A foe can seem to be a friend. And the victim is helpless against the foe. The more powerful the magic, the more likely that it can be used for evil purposes. Something else. Magic. The magic I work with most is water magic. That of knowledge and true seeing. As knowledge can reflect, I too can reflect spells back upon the caster. Hey, I knew a mirror that used to be able to do that. There's much magic in this land, some of a very dark nature. Water is the element of healing and life. I use it in all my magical workings. Okay, so she knows reflect magic, which will probably be valuable. I can only assume. Okay. Thanks, Aziza. Be more polite for your leave to say farewell before leaving the table. Oh, sorry, wait, let me apologize. Oh, well. Let's see, I think that upped my communication a bit. Oh, upped my honor. Honor's getting up there, too. We're doing pretty good, guys. Okay. Now let's see what the astrologer's got to say. There will be a great rise in celebrations today, followed by a rapid decline tomorrow. What else can I do for you? 
Honor, I barely ha <laughs> wah, wah. I will inform the caravan master when the omens are auspicious for the caravan. Omen, something else, something else. Welcome, may the stars smile upon you. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Alright, well, that's that's nothing then. Okay, what time is it here? Sunset approaches. Cool. Uh, let's, uh, let's go to the guild hall, I guess. See what they have to say. It'll be good for Simba to watch us practice. He will need to learn soon enough. He's a baby! Anything else? Keesh. Enough already. Okay, so nobody, nobody's gonna, nobody knows anything about, uh, about Johnny Fuckface. Oh, wow. Very bad things happen there. Maybe right, they start happening here. I hope we not. I'm a strong fighter, but things come from bad magic. Hard to fight magic with a spear. Boy, is it ever. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's do, let's just do one more practice fight. I know it's a little monotonous, but that is part of the game, and that way at least we'll get our stats up a bit. Because I don't feel like grinding out and uh, against jackals in the desert. So we'll exhaust ourselves, and we'll go take a nap. Because I don't think anything's happening at the inn tonight. Oh my god, okay. Like... I'm trying to cover up his back half, so it's just like he's just standing there. It's very Wizard of Oz, if you look at it that way. He's the Cowardly Lion. Oh, that's how I should be reading his voice. I've been reading it like, I am Rakish. Like, he actually would be. We should be like, oh, I'm Rakish. I'll put him up. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see how she likes it when I'm actually using my weapons. Not a dagger. Hoo-ha. Oh, you know what? I wonder... <clears throat> <clears throat> Ah, oh, her get-up attack. I gotta be more careful. Oh, you and your spinny, spinny shit. <sighs> Come on, there we go. We taught Uhura a lesson. Yeah. Either I be out of shape from Simba, or you be getting too good for me plenty soon. Well, I am the protagonist, which gives me certain plot powers. I am sorry, my friend. Battling the Earth Elemental has severely weakened my leg. I battled the Earth Elemental. What are you talking about? You trying to take credit for my deeds, you chump? Oh, I'm afraid I shall have to decline your challenge until I am recovered. You are the Cowardly Lion, aren't you? Alright. Well, that was fun. Let's go, let's go back up to the inn. Later, guys. I'm gonna see if anything's going down with my cat bros. <laughs> okay, might as well might as well get some get some food. Chow down while we're at it. So we don't wake up hungry. And we got cat Karen coming in. Not worse than sauerkraut, but it's garbage. We've had this conversation before. Sauerkraut curry. That's right. Okay, let's uh, let's let's go to sleep for the night. 
we've had a very productive day. We uh, made a tree bear fruit. We rescued some uh, some lady who was turned into like a weird monster thing, and we beat Uhura. Very productive day. Let's uh, let's see what's gonna happen. What's shaking, fart bubbler? We've been making all kinds of progress in this game. You awaken much refreshed as the sun begins to rise. Oh yeah, I'm so fucking refreshed. Alright, let's see if today's gonna be a plot day. I'm doing pretty good, fart bubbler. Welcome, hero. The thing of Earth was most fearsome. The very city trembled from it. We are most fortunate that Shima and Shamin brought you here. Yeah, you are. <laughs> okay, uh... Gee. Looks to me like uh, it's gonna be another filler day, which is a bummer. Because I want things to start happening in this game. But uh, I, can, I can operate. I can, I can make it work. Junibteric. Junibteric. I'm guessing the water elemental is going to come out of this fountain. That just seems to be a given to me. Can't use that item here. Let's see. Great rise in celebrations today, followed by a rapid decline tomorrow. What else can I do for you? You said that yesterday, buddy. I'm starting to think you might be full of it. Call me crazy. Perhaps ocean of my own fortune. I've already done that. Dark hand, the stars, which is repression. I don't know. I visit the palace each morning to tell the day's events. The Sultan consults him regularly. So the Sultan's gotta know what we're up to by now. Use, dodge. Our stats, our stats are getting up there. They're getting pretty good, honestly. Um, shoot, do I just grind out again today? Part of me wants to just go to sleep and just sleep through today until something happens. Because, ugh. You know what? Oh! How could I forget to ask the freaking magic shop guy about magic? That's, that's okay. That's a, that's a big oversight on me. Maybe he knows our, uh... What's new, Blue? Are you Piper from Fallout 4? I think I made that joke already. Okay, well, we can't, we can't buy spells because we don't have magic. Something else. Daily news. Aziza has a waterbed. That's right, Aziza is a fish fucker. Okay, uh, keep on laughing doesn't have any, any info for us. Bone sewers, sir! After a while, crocodile, I hate you! I hate you, I can't wait until I leave this detestable town. Okay, I am going to, I'm gonna sleep through today. I know I could use it to raise my stats, but my stats are pretty good right now, you know? And I, uh, don't really feel like just grinding it out against brigands for an entire day. I will create a save file, just in case we need to come back to this. Otherwise, let's see. Let's get some plot development going. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sleeping it on. Much refreshed. No kidding, we slept for like 24 hours. I would hope we would be much refreshed. Hey, Abdullah Doo's back. Welcome, hero. Let's see if uh, let's see if anything's changed about Abdullah Doo. See if he's uh, expanded his repertoire of stuff to talk about. Alas, our city is in great peril, or our great city is in peril. Same diff. The most feared of all elementals has been unleashed upon us. The water elemental. <laughs> and then Shima just comes out. The creature of water prevents any from approaching the fountain. I fear we will soon have no water. The 
water elemental in the fountain of the town is the greatest of misfortunes. We shall all die from thirst. There'll be a caravan to Razia leaving this month. I, for one, am happy not to have to be on it. What are you? What about you? You got any any opinions on the water elemental? I only know that elementals are dangerous. The journey to Razia is very far and dangerous. It can only be made by caravan. If you do journey there, please look for Sharaf. That's right. I forgot about Sharaf. Okay. His name means honor. He is very brave. It is said that he refused to leave Razia so that he could work to bring freedom to his homeland again. That's right. Well, don't you worry. We will. I will find Sharaf. But first, I will vanquish this elemental. I will beat its ass. I ain't afraid of no elemental. In fact, did we, did we, did we, did we completely give up the earth elemental? We did in order to uh, transform Jalandar. Well, there it is. Okay. Um. Hmm. How to? Let's see if we can't. Let's see if we can't suck it up in our water skin. Oh. Okay. Well, that did a thing. Watery tart. The trap is set. Now it's time to go after the prey. You would be able to get close to the fountain without provoking an attack from the water element. What the fuck just happened? Whoa, that was gruesome. For your information, go with the flow is just an expression. Wave bye-bye, everyone. Yikes. Okay. Jeez. <laughs> that was intense. Holy crap. Let's think. What, uh, what could we... What can we do to make sure that doesn't happen? I only slept until evening. I'm just going to go see if anything happens in the inn tonight, which I don't believe it does. No, it's just Flute Boy. Welcome, hero. Later, dude. All right. How do we solve a problem like a water elemental? Hmm. Okay, so clearly getting the water skin out was the good first step, because it said the trap is set. We just gotta find a way to get the elemental into the skin. Welcome, hero. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip talking to Abdullah this time. We know there's a water elemental. There's a water elemental, she's pissed off. Apparently she's a watery tart per the game. Game's words, not mine. We're probably gonna have to talk to Aziza about this. Because she's all about water. What ass. I can't type. Okay. Before we do that, I'm just gonna... The well-kept plaza of Shapir, or octagonal, and blah blah blah. The trap is set, now it's time to go after the prey. Oh, I did it again. So, did she, like, make out with us to death? Is that what just happened? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go talk to Aziza. See if whoa. That was a dude. That was a dude jumping through the frickin' walls. Was that a Prince of Persia reference? Seems like a Prince of Persia reference to me. Welcome, the hero we deserve. Come in, sit down and be welcome. Shouting out would be considered rude. I'm trying to greet her. Now, Aziza, 
since you're all about water, do you know anything about watery ladies? Perhaps it'd be well to show you as well as to tell you about such things. All right, here we go. The essence of water is attraction. The elemental will draw all water into itself. It can draw water from the very body of a human that approaches it. Yeah, I figured watery ladies would be, you know, you know, the meme song of the era. In the fountain, the water elemental will draw upon the boundless magical stream, which is the lifeblood of the city. People will be dying of thirst as it grows in power enough to engulf the entire city in a flood. As long as the water elemental is in the fountain, the elemental cannot be harmed or contained. It is only vulnerable to air. Once away from the fountain, it will be drawn to the nearest source of water. Oh ho ho ho! Only vulnerable to air, you say? It's almost like we should use the air elemental we've been keeping in our pants this whole time. You might then contain it. Okay, well, she literally just told us what to do. No, wait, I didn't mean to... Ah! Oh, wait. That was an earth elemental? An elemental is formed when magic shapes an element into a semblance of a living creature. Elementals are very powerful and destructive. They can be weakened by the contrary element. But they cannot be destroyed. It does sound like something a youth counselor would say, Hey, watery ladies, how are we doing? <laughs> Just before they lose their job. Once weakened, the elemental can be captured. Once captured, the magical nature of the elemental can be used for helpful rather than harmful purposes. The contrary element or weakness of fire is water. The weakness of water is air. The weakness of air is earth. The weakness of earth is fire. So these are all things we found. These are all things we've been dealing with earlier. We had the flaming sword for earth. We had the dirt for air. We had the water for the fire. Weakening an elemental will force it to seek escape and thus be captured in a suitable container. A container can be created by an appropriate receptacle for the elemental. Once the elemental has done that shit. <laughs> okay, well, we got it. Oh, I know. I know. Believe me, I know what you mean, fart bubbler. All right, well, that seems fairly obvious. Let's go, uh... Let's go get this, uh... Let's go get the elemental. Yeah, I'm back. I know, I know, you want to drain all the water out of me. Out of all the fluids that you could drain... I don't know why water, but okay. Well, I mean, I know why water. I'm make, trying to make it bad. I'm trying to make a pervy joke and failing for once. All right, let's blow this lady. Boom. That was easy. You pick up the water skin that now contains the essence of the water elemental. Well, we did it. <laughs> Piece of cake. So, we're, we're really making a lot of progress today. After many streams of not doing a hell of a lot, we are suddenly going very, very far. Like, seriously, we've made like 60 points alone, and we haven't even been on for like an hour. Welcome, hero. Yo, Abdullah Do. I got him. I got the elemental. I guess we could have talked to everybody before we captured the water elemental just to see what they say, but it's just such an easy fix. 
It is a good thing you are around to save us, the hero we deserve. You're damn right it is. The cat I wish to thank you for your bravery and kindness. Please go visit Shoshannon, the jeweler in the plaza of the palace today. Yeah, okay. I, I can do that. All right, nobody wants to talk about the thing. The elemental, because we vanquished her. And with that, we've, we've vanquished all four elementals, guys. We are the hero we deserve. Your breakfast is delicious. All right, let's go. Let's go, uh, go talk to Shanahan. See if maybe he'll coach our football team. We are in your debt again. Or we are again in your debt, my bad. Your name will be told in the tales of the Kata as long as there are Kata to tell them. We Kata tried to think of some way to say how much we were grateful. Please accept this gift of a sapphire pin. May it do you good. Hey, thanks, sapphire pin. Don't mind if I do. Hand it over. You take the sapphire pin and place it through your lapel. Booyah, look at us. We got we got a sapphire pin. Hooray for the hero we deserve. Is there anything we can... Kata gave you the sapphire pin in exchange for the thanks for being such a badass. We have two potions that will dispel enchantments. That seems like it's going to be important later. We've got three out of the four elementals because we used the earth one to uh, get the pomegranate from the tree woman. I uh, just sound like a nutcase saying that. 19, that's right. I massively overbought a bunch of uh, stamina pills by accident. Let's uh, let's get some uh, let's get some health. Some health stuff while we're at it. Yo Eric, how you doing? else make purchase I will buy they do it in terms of three so I will buy three of them and I will offer you five dinars each nine is your final okay fine have it your way I tried to haggle whatever now we got the goods maybe uh, maybe there'll be something to talk to the people about over yonder Oh, Rakesh is gone. This be stuck to the door with knife. I think maybe you should find a better place to pass notes. Oh, what? We got a note? You read the crumpled paper with the nearly illegible scrawl and small torn spot. Tomorrow night is your last night. You'll get your final orders then. Be seeing you. Is that a threatening note for us? Somebody got it in for us? Tomorrow night is our last night. We'll receive our orders then, huh? Uhura isn't interested in that item. Okay, well, I'm glad we t I'm glad we came here. Holy crap. I not be seeing who leave it. It come while I feed Simba. Could it be that guy we saw running on the walls, jumping all over the place like he had no fucks to give? Could it be the Prince of Persia is threatening us once again? Something else. Enough already. Okay. Well, we don't know if that note was meant for us. For all we know, it could have been for uh, Uhura or Rakish in terms of final, uh, final orders. You know what? Let's talk to the blacksmith guy since I'm pretty sure we've done the pertinent plot part for tonight. The pa pa pa. Oh, and we should probably buy a new water skin. While we're at it. Hey, what's up, asshole? What do you want now? I don't much like nosy little twerps. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Okay, this guy, this guy doesn't know anything. 
This guy doesn't know anything. He's not gonna help us out. He's full of shit. Now where I don't remember where I bought my water skin from. I think it was one of the one of the people in the in the square. Or the fountain plaza. Although I guess nobody's in business because of the elemental. Or the former elemental. Let's see, let's see if Keep On has anything to say. Ahoy, goy! Howdy, doody! What's up, Doc? Okay. No, he does not have anything to say. You have no reason to give him that. Nope, really don't. Bone sewer? After a while, crocodile? Okay, uh, I guess we'll... Maybe Aziza will have something to say about our water-capturing prowess. Welcome the hero we deserve. Come in, sit down, and be welcome. Can I, can I show you the watery lady I caught? Check it out, I got a woman in a bottle. Oh, she's not, she's not interested in that. Yeah, I think someday Christina Aguilera will write a song about her. Shall we share tea? Daily news. Well, we've already we've already talked to her about that. We've already talked to her about that. Okay. Something tells me okay, we defeated the oh it would be more polite to say farewell. Sorry, Aziza, you're such a stickler. Womp womp. Um Okay, so we got a pin and we got a note and we got a water elemental. What do you mean I can't use that item here? Okay, I guess I just, this random screen, I can't use this map, whatever that fucking means. There we go. Okay, so this guy's just saying the same thing over and over. Do you know anything about this? Keep it to yourself. Tomorrow's your last night. You'll get our final orders. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's go to what's uh, let's go to tomorrow. As fun as it would be to uh, grind out and uh, fight brigands all night, we've done enough of that on stream. Our stats are good enough. We're gonna there's gonna be plenty of opportunities to upgrade throughout the other games. So let's just let's just go. Let's just go to bed, guys. It's a depression simulator. We'll just sleep all day. Merc some brigands. You want me to merc some brigands? I can definitely do that. It's just this we're so strong now. We would just be doing it to get some points, and we wouldn't really be advancing the story. Which we've really done done pretty good so far. I do not fear note dopes. Do you think it could be Ad Avis, aka Johnny Fuckface, who left the note? Story ho. No, let's 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 fight some brigands. We'll fight like at least one. Good day, hero. Cause I also don't want to underlevel. Dun 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 I ride in the desert because I like to fight some people. I kill everyone that I see because I'm a good guy. Oh, shit. We also don't have a water skin because we trapped a lady in it. So we won't be going in the desert very long, apparently. Never mind. Unless somebody wants to jump us now. Anybody? Anybody? 
Oh, I'm a helpless hero wandering in the desert all by myself. Whatever shall I do? Oh, no. Well, you who brigands. I think they finally wised up. I think they were just like, I'm sick because remember, we're operating under the head cannon because the guy looks the same. That it's just the same brigand every single time. And I think he's just tired of getting his ass kicked because he knows how much stronger we are. Okay. I know what we're going to do. We're going to sleep until evening, and we're going to try and kill a ghoul. We have not killed a ghoul yet. I want to try and do that before we leave for Razier, which could happen soon, if that uh, threatening note is any indicator. So, uh... Yeah, ghouls are so fucking hard to fight. It seems impossible. But we're getting pretty strong. We're getting up there. Our stats are getting pretty good. Oh, look at our communication. Look at our honor. Somehow we're getting smarter. Don't ask me how that works. Sleep until evening. As opposed to sleeping all day. And then we're going to find a ghoul. And we're going to end his ass. And that is how we play Quest for Glory. I've been really hard on this game, but, like, this has been a good session of it. I gotta say, a lot of stuff has been happening. It's starting to pick up. It's getting a little more exciting. And I'm glad, because, you know, there are some days... Well, it also probably helps that I've started, like, sleeping through the filler days, for the most part. <laughs> May thee walk safely this evening, hero of Shapir. All right, let's get some ghouls. Let's find some ghouls. Ghoul hunters. Yeah, we got spooky constellations. Let's see, is this the dragon? The constellation is said to resemble a saurus. That's the dark palm, which means bad stuff is happening. Because it looks like... Hey, here we go. I'm your Huckleberry. Let's get him! Oh my god, I'm on fire. This is the best we've ever done against a ghoul. Oh my god! Oh my god, he's healing himself. That sucks. That's nonsense. Slam all! Ham, wham, slam, bam, bam! I gotta remember my secret strategy of just yelling. Sow! Wow! Sow! Wow! Hey, yes, sow! Sang, 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 sang! Swang, swang, swang. Stop with the acid spit, you ass. Oh, I'm in the fire, in the fire too. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Uh, 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 fuck you. Yeah, you're a son of a bitch. No one loves you. No one. You got a face only a mother could love. Come on, chump. Okay. We're gonna pop some pills. We can do this, though. We're doing a lot better than I thought we would. Now, where are you? Where'd that ghoul go? Oh, man. Are we gonna have to start over completely because we went to that screen? That blows. We can do it, though. We got close. We got real close. We just need to find a ghoul that's going to stick around. Which, you know what? I guess I don't blame that ghoul for fleeing. Honestly, a lot better than we thought it. Okay, let's try this again. Although, odds are I should probably just reload. Come on, you fuck! 
<laughs> fuck you, fuck you, ha, <laughs> damn. <laughs> fuck your face, fuck your face. 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 And your acid too. Fuck you. Ha! Sa! Ha! Hell! Shit! Sla! Hey, you're almost out of magic. You're almost out of magic. What you gonna do without magic, you bitch? Yeah, you bitch. No. Oh god. Okay, I gotta stop being a chump. You're almost out of magic. Ah, the ghoul shatters to pieces. Go us. Go us. Remember when we first started playing this and we couldn't even remotely begin to fight the ghouls? That's how far we've come, guys. We're doing great. We are champs. We are about as good as it gets. We are the hero we deserve. The ghoul shatters to pieces. All right. The mouse sneezed and I died. Exactly. With a feeling of disgust, I removed the ghoul's claws and take them with me. And then let's just... I do not fear ghoul fools. No, I do not. We got them, man. We got them by the ass. Let's go back home and get a good night's rest. Because that's it. We got all the monsters, guys. We got one of each. Hey, what's up, Dino? Aren't you proud your daddy's a ghoul slayer? I'm proud my I'm a ghoul slayer. Alright, and we'll go sleep for the rest of the night. I thought that was going to take a lot longer, actually. So go us! I pity the ghoul. I'm teaching ghouls some basic rules. All right, let's uh, let's go sleep it off. Like the big badass hosses that we are. And we'll see what that threatening note's about. I awaken much refreshed as the sun begins to rise. You goddamn right I do. Oh my god, we would get shit on by scorpions, by brigands, everything. The Enchantress Aziza sends you this message of gratitude and requests that you visit her home tomorrow. It is said that Ohura at the Guildhall has a message for you as well. Um? Well, I wonder if it's a different message. Santim for the poor, Effendi! Santim for the poor, Vincent Van Gogh needs some more money. Let's, uh, let's hook a brother up. Because we're trying to be paladins, after all. I will give you four Santimes. Thank you, Effendi. You shame me with your kindness. All right, let's, uh, let's see what Uhura has to say. Maybe she got another threatening note. This time, the note be stuck to the door with an old sword. Tell your friend I will show you where to stick it the next time. You will crumple this paper. At nightfall tonight, go to the door at the end of a scary darb. Off scythe darb. Obey, or you'll regret it. Okay. So that's a, that's a thing. Well, they're gonna we're gonna have to have a clandestine meetup with our buddy boy, whoever's leaving all these threatening messages. I'm going to see if we can't talk to Aziza today. Because why not, right? Whole lot of this going on. Welcome, the hero we deserve. I wish to speak with you tomorrow about Razia. I intend to work some magic tonight to gather information about the things you will face. I will let you know at our meeting what I find out. But forgive me. I have forsaken my manners. Come in, sit down. We shall share tea and talk, hero of Shapir. Might as well. 
Ugh, unfortunately though, I hate the thought that we're gonna have to try and navigate these alleyways again. Cause good lord, those are terrible. Okay. Shall we share tea? Yes, always share tea. I can't think of any reason not to. I've come to see if you have any new conversation elements, which you don't, so... Thank you, goodbye. Yeah, I'll be back once you've worked your magic, lady. Let's see, does the astrologer know anything cool? <clears throat> Alright, well, I'm just gonna go sleep until it's time to meet our, uh, bro. Hang on, what did the- where did he say he wanted us to go? Tomorrow night, you last night. A scary darb off scythe darb. Okay, a scary darb off scythe darb. So... That is... That's this one. A scary darb off scythe darb. Okay, okay. That shouldn't be too horrific to try and find. Cool, let's, uh, let's go to the inn and pass out. Is something wrong, fart bubbler? <laughs> I'm gonna save here for that. Oh, the streets. Yeah, fuck them. And we're gonna be doing it in the dark, too? Horrible. Horrible. Where I can much refresh as the sun sets behind the mountains. Let's head on down. See, uh, see what the menace is. <laughs> Okay, so is this Scythe Darb? Kital Darb, no. So Scythe Darb's gonna be one of these other ones. Probably, I think, over here? Scythe Darb, here we go. Heading through Scythe Darb. A scary Darb, here we go, guys. <clears throat> the plot thickens, by which I mean there is a plot now. <laughs> <clears throat> Nisser Darb. Nope, we want to go all the way to the end of a scary Darb. Hey, hey, how we doing? Silent Devil, what's up? Welcome back to the stream. We are doing pretty good. This has been a very productive uh, edition of Quest for Glory 2, which has not always been the case during our streams of this. So you've come at a good time. We're, uh, yeah, we're going through a scary darb to meet a person who's been leaving us threatening notes. Enter the darkness. Okay. <laughs> the room is in total darkness as you enter. You can't see your hand in front of your eyes. You do, however, hear some movement around you although it's hard to locate the source of the sound. Stand where you are. You now face the most important decision in your life. Are you a man or just a craven coward? Step forward and obey, or now run away. A 
I suppose it's too much to hope this is a surprise party. <coughs> Before you can recover from the unexpected assault, you feel yourself being searched and dragged through the darkness by your arms. Suddenly you feel something heavy and cold being attached to your wrist with a solid clank. Oh no! We got chained up, guys! You have ten seconds to prepare for battle. One, two. Looks like a cross between your average fraternal organization, meeting hall, and a dungeon. The shackles give it a special flavor. Yeah, no kidding. What kind of fucked up place is this? You better think of some way to get out of those shackles and make it snappy. Try getting your hands on a weapon. How about his weapon? You say you notice the hilt of the masked swordsman's scimitar approaching your jar at unhealthy velocity. But if you're uh, but you're unable to do anything about it. Oh no! Some hero you are. You are grabbed and roughly tossed through the back door of the alley. Could even break out of the chains. What a wimp! No, no, I refuse to accept that. I refuse to accept that. We're gonna try that again. We're gonna try that again. And this time I'm going to make a save point before we have to do the thing. Awaken much refreshed as the sun sets behind the mountains. <clears throat> is this going to be me skipping the filler days? Is that going to be is this going to be the problem is I'm not strong enough to break the chains now? That can't be right. Let's try this again. <laughs> we'll take the long walk of shame through the scary darb. Wait a second, did I go down the wrong darb? No, I'm on the right darb. I'm on the right darb. Apparently Charlie Brown's teacher is somewhere around here. I really hope I'm strong enough for this challenge. I feel like I should be. 154 strength. I mean, come on. Oh, I should have sold my ghoul stuff, too. Oh, well, we should have another chance. Oh, wait, am I in the wrong spot? Oh, I'm at the end of Scythe Darb. My bad. Womp, 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 womp. I'm hoping this isn't like... Well, they didn't kill me. So I don't think these are bad guys. Call me crazy, but I feel like I'm being tested more than I am being, like, menaced. My big hope is at the end they'll be like, Hey, we noticed how dope you were, and we want to make you a paladin. That's my hope. Because that would be cool, because I've been trying to do that. Because this is the game where you can become one. I don't know if you can become one in the other ones in the series, but I think... Uh, that's the sort of thing that I want to have, like, stick with me, you know? It's like, I did the paladin stuff. Because as far as I know, I've done it. Although if I screwed myself... I don't want to screw myself. 
I'm nervous, guys. I'm real, real nervous. Enter the darkness. Okay. I'll try this one. Stand where you are. Most important decision. Man or craven coward. Step forward and obey. Womp. Yeah? Clonk? Gonna clonk me? <coughs> there we go. There's a clonk. Ten seconds for favorite battle. A little quivering. Got me in the corner. All I can do is dodge. Okay. You dash across the room, grab the only available weapon in sight, turn to face your adversary. Swing button, swing, stab button, slash, block button, parry. Press swing after blocking. Okay, we know this. We've killed one of every enemy in this game. Punch his ass! Yeah, come on, come on! Ha ha! Ha Swing and swang! Swiggity swing, swag! Damn. I just need to do better. Need to stop sucking. Start doing good. Sasso! Ha <laughs> Damn it! You managed to beat the warrior at his own game. Hell yeah, we killed his ass. That was actually really exciting. The voices call to you. Well done. Now finish him off. Kill him. Finish him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. No. He didn't kill me when he had the chance, so I am not going to kill him. What a turkey. Even when you win, you don't have the guts to finish the task. Never show mercy to an enemy. Isn't that right, Walid? That's right, boss. Your real equipment is in the other room. You have been tested to prove your worthiness to join the Eternal Order of Fighters. You can fight, and you've got some guts. But you just can't obey a simple order. We figured we'd let you join the EOF despite the fact that you failed. You're admitted to the beginning rank of our order. You are now a Brother Saurus. Welcome to EOF. Okay. You are shown the secret handshake and learn the secret password. Might is right and you are given the secret membership token with your name, rank, and serial number engraved upon it. After you pay five diners... Okay, so it's not quite being a, a fierce brother-saurus dinosaur. That's me, guys. So we're not quite a paladin. After you pay five diners for membership fees, you are taken to the other room to celebrate. The next morning... You can't remember what the party was like afterwards, and you have no idea when or how you got to bed... You awaken with a terrible headache and feel very sick. Somehow, this just isn't your idea of how a hero should be. 
All right, we are hung over. They are the worst. We made it though, guys. We uh, we're, what, what, what did we get? So we've got the sapphire pin, and now we've got the EOF shield, genuine imitation brass secret membership badge with its secret. Uh, yes, I too can attest to hangovers being the worst. Holy crap, can I attest to that? So nobody knows what it means. Makes you an EOF member in good standing. The Enchantress Aziza requests we enter her home this day. The poet Omar. Fuck the poet Omar. I hate him. Will thrill all who hear with his words of song after the setting of the sun in our own inn. Cool. It has been said that you are going to journey to Razia. The Kata all hope for your safety and wish for your success, friend of the Kata. Okay, well, uh, first order of business, I guess, is I want to sell the Khajiit has wares if you have coins. Oh, I'm, I feel like this has to be an inspiration for the Khajiit. I'm going to sell him my ghoul claws. It would be best if you purchase some extra pills to take with you. Probably a good idea. You know, something else. Enough already. I got... I got some ghoul claws for you, man. 30 dinars. Gladden your heart. Uh, it does. It very much does. Okay, we have enough... We have more than enough stamina pills. So, I'm gonna buy... That should be enough healing pills. Alright, cool shit. Before I go to Aziza, I'm gonna go talk to, uh, talk to Uhura and the Isser guy. See if they have anything to say. So, hero, not content with having merely saved the city, I see that you're about to attempt to save the land of Shapir as well. You have proven yourself both brave and resourceful by your actions. The journey you are about to make is to a very dark and dangerous place. The foe you will face is very powerful in the ways of magic. Be wary and alert, for you will be surrounded by enemies. Yet trust your instincts, my friend, for you still make allies by your actions. All of us- Oh no wait, I forgot I'm doing the Cowardly Lion. All of us in the city will be hoping for your safety, for all know the seriousness of your mission. May fortune smile upon you, the hero we deserve. Keep your weapon handy, hero, and don't let your enemies get you. You and I maybe practice some more when you get back. If you will permit it, my friend, perhaps you and I could practice with weapons before you go. I happen to know some skills with weapons that may help you on your mission. Yeah, totally. First things first, though, I want you guys to check out my nifty pin. Oh, thank you, Silent Devil. My thanks, but I have no need for gifts. Uhura isn't interested in that item. Okay, well, before I practice with you guys, I'm gonna go... Go talk to Isser, see uh, what he's got, so if he's going to be nice to us now that we're part of his uh, frat club. So you're going to restore Razier to its former glory. Don't give him an inch. Show him who's boss. Uh, else, me else, enough already. What do you think of this? You have no reason to give him that. Okay, well, fine then. I'll go practice with them, and then we'll, uh... I hope I'm, I hope I'm not screwed out of my chance to be a paladin. Because I feel like I've been doing the stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Is the lion tar going to be coming in? I think, isn't he a lion tar? Or he's a lion man or whatever? Okay, he wants to practice with me now. Let's do it.
Fortunately, my leg has recovered quickly enough to allow me the opportunity to test your combat skills. I gladly accept your challenge, my friend! Oh, no fair, no fair, no fair with the fire sword. Come out, snap! <laughs> put him up, put him up. If I were king of the forest. Not Prince, not Duke, not Chump! Come on, come on, come on! Yeah, 7-9, seven, 7-9! Nine, seven, nine. Ha ha! Yeah, yeah! And the, I feel like the shrieking helps a lot. Whack! Damn, damn! He's gonna kill me! Force Rakish to yield the combat. Hell yeah, guys. Remember when I was really bad at the combat in this game? Now who's the hero we deserve? <laughs> yeah, that did not, that could not have been closer. Holy shit. You force Rakish to yield the combat. So you are good, very good. Soon you'll be a master with your sword. However, the real battle is not always won by a swing or a thrust. The fight with honor is not always easy. Sometimes the way of honor will seem foolish to those who have none. Nonetheless, without honor, there is no victory. With honor, there is no real defeat. Okay, well, I don't really want to practice with Uhura again. Beat up Rakish. Although, let's look at our stats now. Yeah, look at that. Stamina 2. Well, I guess we got healed, though. It's not so bad. And look at that. Everything went up. Look at us. Look at how cool we are. Honor 91. We gotta, we gotta be, we gotta be close to Paladin Hood. All right, well, let's pop some pills, I guess. And, uh... Oh, wait. Before we do that, before we go talk to Aziza, I would like to... see if he says anything different on this screen. Logo of the Eternal Order Fighters. There's some text written on the plaque. Standard guild stuff. I don't... Does anybody who knows this... Is anybody, does anybody who knows this game know if I've, like, missed my chance to become a paladin? Like, if the EOF thing is something they do instead of being a paladin or something? I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it. That's probably, like, a late, late game thing. It's just they say the Sultan's looking for a paladin, and we're about to leave this city. So, like, I feel like if we're not a paladin by the time we leave this city, we're probably not going to be one. Unless it's like that happens at the very end of the game. And I don't really want to spoil it too much for myself. But, you know, Sierra games, dead ends, things like that. Or maybe there's just a lot to go down in Razier. And that's what the deal is. I don't know. 
I don't fucking know. Okay. Let's, uh, let's talk to Aziza. See, uh, what she can see, sir. With her magics. Welcome, the hero we deserve. 350 of 500. You have saved the city through your resourcefulness and bravery. You are very much a hero. Welcome to my home, the hero we deserve. May your deeds be remembered forever. I worked some magic last night to uncover information about your trip to Rezia. I need to discuss this with you. Come in, sit down, and we shall speak. Oh, Redino! Welcome, stranger. I shall be honored to have you for a guest. Gronkity Gronk? Perhaps he has a sorus throatus. Hey, nah, 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 nah. Come in. We shall all sit, and we shall see. You are obviously enchanted, so we need now to see what is your true form. Oh, we've been riding a dude this whole time? That's, ah, uh, did not know that. That is a plot twist. Water of wisdom, liquid of life. I call upon thee three times three. Mirror without what lies within, so we shall have the true to see. Look into the water, and we shall see your true form. It's a dude! Ah, the Emir Aris al-Din. There was good reason why my spell could not locate you in Rezir. You are under a most powerful enchantment. The caster must be a very skilled wizard to craft such a spell. Yeah, oh man, I'm un uncomfortable. In a pro pro. Water of wisdom, liquid of life. Knowledge now is what I seek. Reveal the caster of the spell upon the when which I bespeak. Ugh, one, pardon me. You must take the caravan to Razia. I will keep the Emir with me for safekeeping while you find the means to restore him to his rightful shape. I got a dispel potion. We are all hoping for your success, hero, and eagerly await the pleasure of your return. Farewell, the hero we deserve. Wait, I got a, I got a potion. I got a potion. I'm telling you, I got a potion. There is no response. Okay. So she won't let me use the Dispel Potion. Dino De Laurentiis has been a dude this whole time. I feel vile. The caravan will leave with the dawn of tomorrow's sun, hero. Hang on. I want, I want to make sure... I just want to make sure I didn't miss my chance to become a paladin. Uh, uh, uh. At which point... Oh, okay. So we're just not there yet. That's all. Okay, cool. So, I did look up when do we become a paladin, and we don't... It's not like I missed anything. That's all. I don't know. I don't have any other spoilers. Other than we don't do it until later. Alright, guys. I think we should get some... Oh, no, wait. We should sleep until evening and hear what that jackass poet has to say. Ding, 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 diddly dong. Dang, dang, dong, ding, ding, daily do. All right, let's hear the poet Omar and his tiny ass text. The poet will speak if you will but be seated. The Sultan of Shapir has now decreed that this hero is a hero here indeed, for actions fundamental in dispelling elementals, a reward for he who freed us with all speed. 
from the Sultan Harun al Rashid, may he reign forever. We present thee with this purse for thy services, most brave and daring against the elementals of earth and water. You receive the reward of a hundred dinars. In the month of the serpent, in the year of the spear, darkness passed over the town of Razir, and the rumor has been said that the old emir was dead, for Alice al-Din had seemed to disappear. The emir had a brother who quickly took the throne, who was a shadow lurking under, soon was known. For the kata were exiled, and Razir was then defiled. Okay, I, this, you can't wrap this. You can't wrap this, there's just no flow. By the rules and regulations that were shown. This guy's the genie. The Sultan sent his men to restore his ear to right, but they did not even have a chance to fight. For as they crossed the land, a tremendous storm of sand forced his forces to retreat from their plight. You suck! Get off the stage! Boo! You're not funny! Bring back the cat lady with the boobs! <laughs> so now the rumors told of the city of Razir that the darkness shadows everything in fear, and he that now does rule has the emir as his tool. Disobedience brings punishment severe. Boo! Don't quit your day job! Is this the start of the furries? Yes, Silent Devil. You're lucky you missed it. There's a very disturbingly animated cat lady that dances for us. I would not just pull that out of thin air, I assure you. The moral of this story, as best of tales must tell, of horrors of the orders that befell, is the simple corollary that the hero must be wary ere he journeys to that shadow citadel, and we bid him luck and wish him to farewell. As you travel to Razir, the hero we deserve, know that all of us in Shapir wish for your safety and the success of your mission. That's disgusting. Where can I find it? Check, uh, check the last couple streams of this. Um... The first couple are going to be on YouTube, and there should be one, I believe she danced last week. So, if you check the one from a week ago, she'll be there. They'll be on the VODs. Okay, does he have anything new to say? The might of earth and strength of rock transformed, and through the land the creature rose and stormed. The shape of man was made by force of spell, until the fire's fury shall it quell. The elemental of earth is a force of great devastation, but it can be overcome by flame. Yeah, we know that. We kicked his ass. A thing of water, living contradiction, despite the water's flowing benediction. For in its power, at its very worst, forces men to suffer and die of thirst. The water elemental by its nature absorbs water, thus those around it die of thirst. To journey far across this mighty land, to face the deadly driving dusts of sand, the shining sun which shears the naked, sears the naked hand, and to survive it must be caravaned. A caravan is the best way to travel across to Shapir. Okay, Omar, I'm a pass out. Benediction, Cumberbatch, yes, yes. The elemental water, the water elemental. Blah. Me, switching up my words? No. <laughs> Hero, it is time for you to awaken. Even now, the caravan to Rizir is preparing to depart. Once you leave Shapir, you will be on your own. 
We can but give you some supplies to make your journey easier. These rations should last you for one more week. I have also prepared an extra set of clothes for you. You are carrying more than your body can handle. Fucking excellent. Guess, uh, let's just, they'll just have to watch me just scoot over to the chest. Okay, um, well, all this stuff seems pretty important. Saurus oil. Uh, that seems important. Shima's given me clothes. Better off dropping them and getting more from the desert when you need them. I mean, crap. What can I leave behind? I guess I guess we don't need the inn key. We're not coming back to the inn. And I guess we don't need this dagger. Ha! <laughs> that was actually funny. It's a good, it's a good thing this isn't a parser-based action. Put dagger in chest. <laughs> I like that. Very clever writing team. Good job. This seems like a joke item. X-ray goggles. And they haven't really worked on anything. So I'm going to put those in the chest. Well, actually, wait. How many rocks am I carrying? 38. Okay, that's right. Hiro, it is time for you to go. Hang on. First, I'm going to... Now is not a good time to practice my throwing. Ah, god damn it. I forgot to save after I... Uh... Oh, and I don't want to do all that again. Okay. I'm still carrying too much. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna carry too much until I get a chance to throw rocks at everything. That's just how it's gonna have to be. <laughs> We're gonna be carrying too much on the journey to Razier. Oh, it sucks to be us. I will be happy to listen to your stories when you return, hero friend. But I wish not to waste any time now. I regret there is no time for tales, hero. You must finish your preparations before the caravan leaves you behind. Okay, well, I'm ready. Let me go. Humberdink Bandersnatch. Frumpy Dump Bumby Ditch. Oh! The inn is filled with Kata merchants who wish you luck upon your departure. Yeah, especially since we're going to be over-encumbered the whole time. As you pass through the gate of Shapir, the Gait Garan presents you with a new source. A gift from the Sultan. Hopefully this one's not a transformed dude. Ahead in the desert sands awaits a mass of sore iron riders being led by the caravan master, a huge centaur, who orders the caravan into motion before the sun can be seen. Over in Cumbers. <laughs> I like that. You ride out in this to join in this new adventure, pausing only to watch the sunrise. All right, guys, say goodbye to Shapir and all of its bullshit alleyways and the people we've met. Whoa! Oh. Okay, Lawrence of Arabia music. I get what you're going for. Okay, is it just me? Or is the caravan leaving us behind? Or is this us joining the caravan? And Wiley Brigand is saying goodbye to us. All right, let's throw down. The caravan comes under siege from hundreds of nomadic brigands. Your small group is vastly outnumbered. The situation looks grim. Is he going to let us do anything? What? <laughs> There's an intermission. That's pretty funny, not gonna lie. Yeah, I know, right? Fresh popped Wilbur Blue and Decker gourmet popping corn. Ice cold, tasty whiz fizz made with pure Shapirian artesian spring water. Artisan? Artesian? 
Snack stand closes in 10 minutes. Let's all go to the lobby. Look, it's an orb of burning hydrogen and helium. I should use this for my break screen. I just might. I just might clip this and use it for my break screen. But for now, let us carry on. Oh, okay. Phew. I love the smell of victory in the morning. It smells like sweat. No, no, oregano. No, like victory. Yeah, victory. Yeah, yeah. That's the ticket. I don't know where the houses on wheels are. It's the oldest trucking convoy under the desert verse. After a week of traveling, you leave the caravan when it comes within sight of the city of Rizir. That brigand was huge compared to the- You're right! Brigandzilla! Why didn't they bring him out? They should have brought him out to fight. <laughs> Would have been harder to vanquish Brigandzilla, that's for damn sure. The caravan master warns you that Rizir is a dangerous place to be and bids you be wary of all you meet there. He rears up and salutes you, and you watch the caravan move onward into the desert. You ride alone to the entrance to the Riz to Rizir, and pass through the, gar the barred gates, which barely open for you. Well, we're here, guys. We made it. We're at the second part of the game now. Oh, that was quick. Stay where you are, stranger, or you'll discover how sharp a weapon can be. So, you are the one they call the Hero of Shapir. Well, understand this. We don't need no stinking heroes around here. Do I make myself clear? Yes, Jake the Snake Roberts. I understand completely. Actually, kind of looks like me if I just got... Do I make myself clear? See that you obey all the rules posted around town. N rule number one. Strangers must always carry their visa. Do you have your visa? Already breaking the rules, are you? Here is your visa. Don't leave town without it. Ha <laughs> ha. That's actually really funny. Don't leave home without it. The guards of this city look like tough, well-disciplined fighters. If the guard does not respond, it doesn't say much. Kind of sounded like Batman. I did kind of do a Batman voice there. Of all the gin joints in all the world, you had to walk into this one. A hush comes over the bar as people notice you and eye you sullenly. Where are the other dinos going? That's a good question. It's not like there's a hell of a lot going on in this land other than these two cities, it seems like. I'm going to guess the other dinos are probably off on some sort of, like, uh... They're going to the site of the next game, wherever that is. May your look what crawled in from the desert. He has been out in the sun so long, his hair has gone yellow. No, no, Wilma. He is a stranger to our fair city. You wouldn't want to give him the wrong opinion about the hospitality of Razier. Come here, stranger. I see you have already made the acquaintance of Kavin, our illustrious captain of the Razerian Guard. So perhaps you already have an idea of Razerian hospitality. Come here. Sit down and let us have a little chat, you and I. Welcome to the Blue Care, Parrot. I am Ferrari, Senor Ferrari. Sit down, my dear sir. Relax. You are among friends here. <laughs> if you don't mind me saying so, you look like a man with a mission. I like that in a man. Oh, is he coming on to us? That was fast. I like that in a man. And he's like whipping us. He's like, whoosh, whoosh. Yeah, you got a mission, all right. DK. Disgusting kicks. 
He does not look like a car. No. Maybe he's a car salesman. But perhaps a word of caution. In a city such as Razia, there are many depths to the problem. A kissy kiss. The hunk I deserve. Well, that is who we are. Do not try to change things here too quickly. You will find that the system is not so bad, once you get used to it. However, it would be very dangerous to try and alter that system. You might make enemies. Enough of such morbid thoughts. I'm gonna eat this genie's head. <laughs> Eating the genie's brain. <laughs> so delicious. <laughs> Perhaps we should share a drink in honor of our new relationship. Would you prefer a Zirish coffee or a gin sling? <laughs> a wise choice. I dislike a man who doesn't drink. It reveals a distinct lack of trust. And you can trust me, my good sir. Wilma, a friend for a drink for our young friend. I almost said a friend for our young drink. Uh. Hopefully I didn't fuck up. I probably should have saved. Let us drink to our fortunate meeting. The drink is sweet with a very bitter aftertaste. It has an odd, almost chemical taste. You feel strange for a few seconds, but the feeling passes. Ferrari starts to ask some very probing questions, but you evade most of them. You are a very closed-mouthed individual. You handle your drink very well. I trust you will handle yourself in Razier as well. We will reserve a room here for you tonight. You will need it to return here before dark, for it is forbidden to be out at night. Join me this evening and we will talk some more. I have some information which may prove useful to you. I will see you later. I have some thinking to do now. The person glances at you, then glances nervously over at Signor Ferrari. Oh god, that's right, we're still over encumbered. <laughs> well, we're gonna have to do something about that. That is Senior Ferrari to you, punk. He's giving out free Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Without water, you would not survive even an hour in the desert. Okay, so we need to find a source of water. And we need to unload all these fucking rocks. <laughs> Gotta take a dump. I <laughs> got by order of Kaveen, you are not allowed to leave your city without showing your visa, yellow-haired dog. Your papers are in order. You may pass. That's right, we're playing papers, please, now. <laughs> the source is an amazing beast. This steed must have remained at the gate, awaiting your future need, while you carried on your business in Razir. Okay. So we gotta get rid of all these stones that I picked up by accident. Fuck you, Razir! You stupid, stupid, stupid city! Fuck you! You suck! Boo! Fuck you! I hate you! I hate you so much! You're all so mean! And you're all such jerks! And you guys are all sketchy! And you slap me in the face! And I'm just gonna throw rocks! I'm just gonna throw all the rocks! Fuck you, Razier! Boo! Fuck you, Razier! And you get a rock! And you get a rock! And you get a rock! Some things never change. Whoops. I think- I think that's all the rocks. Wait a minute! <laughs> oh, I wonder if that was funnier in, like, 1990 when this game was made. Visa, please! Your papers are in order. By order of Kavi, you must have a pleasant stay. Oh, no. No! You must carry your visa at all times. You are being watched. Rules must be obeyed. Follow the system. 
You must carry your visa at all times. Oh my god. Okay, Kaveen. It is forbidden to roam the streets at night. What, is it night right now? Mid-afternoon. It is forbidden to be on the streets at night. Women shall remain indoors and veiled at all times. Is this like a, like a police thing broadcasting this? Women shall remain indoors and veiled at all times. Women shall remain veiled and indoors. Okay, I get it. This place sucks. I get it. Women shall remain indoors and veiled at all times. Oh, this is a, probably a bad idea. Yeah, apparently. Guys, we've made it to 4chan. 4chan, the city. Yeah, okay, we get it. Women shall remain in dead indoors and unveiled at all times. Women shall remain veiled and indoors at all times. Yeah, okay, shut the fuck up. It is forbidden to be on the streets at night. It is forbidden to be on the streets at night. The bad news is I wasn't really paying attention to where I was going, and now I am completely lost. You must carry your visa at all times. I think I can go back this way. Hey, they got their own plaza of the fountain. Cracked and dry fountain is a pitiful sight. I get a feel for the area. Okay, cool. Okay, so Razier and Shapier. Okay, I get I get what they were doing. That's going to be the same layout. Because, um, memory. <laughs> and they're supposed to be brother and sister cities. I get it. Everything not mandatory is forbidden. Everything not mandatory is forbidden. Some men are more equal than others. Some men are more equal than others. Okay, I think I get the, I think I get the picture. Oh my god. Is there even anything to do in this town? Or is it all dead ends? Some men are more equal than others. Shut up! <laughs> this is just bigotry the city. All men are equal. Oh, you know, what? let's go let's go down all men are equal street. Yeah, I think, I think that's the idea. The idea is like, the bad guys are in charge here. All men are equal. I'm gonna follow the all men are equal road. All men are equal. All men are equal. I'm probably gonna end up having to reload because I have a 0% chance of finding my way back to the inn. Oh, I'm having... Having flashbacks of my first time in Shapir. This is not good. All the streets look the same. Exactly. Exactly. It's it's a nightmare. I have no idea. And they're not, unlike even, even unlike in Shapir, they're not labeled. So I don't know where to go. Okay, we made our way back to the plaza fountain plaza okay um okay hypothetically it should be a straight shot down this way you must carry your visa at all times is that ad avis ad ad visa holy shit ad avis's name well it's johnny fuckface to me, I'm gonna call him that. 
But it's also an anagram for Visa ad. Holy shit, I found it. God damn. Okay, is there anything anything to do? Alright, let's just see what Senor Ferrari has to say. Come join me here, my dear sir. You are still a novelty in Razier, and I take a vested interest in all things new. It is time we discuss some things together, you and I. <laughs> yeah, you just want to touch my sh shoulder again. I wish to tell you a story, a fable that has a moral. How you choose to react to this moral is your own life. As you well know, the old Emir was deposed last year, and he, he was turned into a lizard, actually, and his brother took over the palace. Razia used to be a place with very few laws and restrictions, a place where the streets were filled with people and merchants and water flowed free from the fountain. That has changed with the coming of Kavin and his master. A new order has been established. The weak have perished or fled. Only the strong who adapted remain. Those that could not adapt were destroyed. You are strong, but it remains to be seen how adaptable you are. It would be a great shame for you to wind up in Kavin's dungeons. Enough of that for now. I have someone I'd like you to meet. Ugarte, I would like to introduce you to the hero we deserve. Yeah, merchants and water flowed free from the fountains. You've never had a merchant fountain? <laughs> Oh wait, is this guy supposed to be the Peter Lorre look-alike? I am very pleased to make your acquaintance. I have heard much about you already. Ugarte here provides an invaluable service to this community. He obtains things for others which are otherwise unobtainable. For a nominal fee, of course. It seems he has some information for you, as I'm gonna... A rumor, perhaps, that may influence your actions. I will be happy to share such information for, say, five dinners? Eh, most pleased to make your acquaintance. It is always so good to meet new associates to switch to do business. Okay, I'll, I'll give you five dinars. Kevin has sent the word out to his men that you are to be watched at all times. It seems that uh, someone is very interested in your actions. It should be, you should be aware that Kevin does not usually greet strangers at the gate. You were expected. Why would he take an interest? There is the little matter of a prophecy to be fulfilled, and this one may be the one. I suspected before that you were a very dangerous man to have around the hero we deserve. It seems I am correct. Still, it will be very interesting to see how this game plays out. You may stay tonight in the first room past the door on the left. You may call me Ugarta. I make my living off rumors. That someone Kavin told to watch for you. It is interesting to see Kavin play the lackey around here. Kavin is not the person in charge in Razir although he would like to believe otherwise. About that, I can see no more. It is said that the whisper of his name will draw his attention. I have no wish for him to notice me. Okay, so he's not senpai. Yeah, I think it was a fourth wall break. Let's see how this game plays out. It is said that someone is waiting for someone to open a door to something. I have had no desire to learn more about it. Things dealing with magic are best left alone. It's gotta be uh, Ed Avis, AKA Johnny Fuckface. We are old friends, are we not, Ferrari? There is much profit to be made here if a man keeps his eyes open for opportunities. It would be hard for someone such as myself to make a living there, so I have heard. There are so few laws to work around. 
I do what I can to help those poor unfortunates who live around here. Water is my specialty. Since the fountain is dried up, the only place to get water is from the Emir's men. The only place other than myself, that is. It is surprising how much water is worth to one who is thirsty. The new Emir is as big a fool as his brother was. I have heard that he hides in the palace and will not leave his room. The palace of Razier is very lovely and dangerous. Holy crap, I'm getting tired of doing this voice. All the wealth of Razier remains there, and all the dungeons as well. It is said that the only way to leave Razier's dungeons is to die. Okay, uh, can I buy some water from you? I have no water skins to fill. Fuck, that's right. The Blue Parrot is the very scent of a life in Razia. Everybody goes to the Blue Parrot. Ugart and I are old friends. I came to Razia a little over a year and a half ago. A man of my stature has no problem making a profit out of any situation. It is not profit that brought me here, though. I came seeking... Uh, but I see that I am boring you. Enough of that subject. No, wait! Tell me! Tell me, chump! What'd you come here for? There's nothing about Shapir that interests me, except for what you have told me. If you have no nerd further need of me, sir, there are other thirsty customers in need of my wares. I hope I didn't screw myself. Maybe I'll just have to, uh... Have to... Wait... Or not go to the desert. I don't think there's anything to do in the desert in Razor. Not that I... Oh, shit. Our room sucks, but look at how well-defined our back muscles are. You slept fitfully, dreaming of rat-like monsters pulling at you. In your dream, you felt cruelly exposed, but you recovered. Signor Ferrari sends his regrets, but he had some rather disturbing news. He will talk to you this evening. We sell water for 50 centimes, Razirish coffee for 75 centimes, and gin slings for one dinar. Where else can you get water in this city? The waterman only comes once a week. The Emmy's man sells a week worth of water for 10 dinars. Small glass of tepid, stale tasting water. Because that's how we do things. Suddenly I'm feeling super grateful. Okay. <clears throat> Shoot. I hope I didn't fuck myself by not buying a second water skin. I forgot that... Well, maybe I can just drink the water elemental. You know, if uh, push comes to shove. You hold the water skin up to your ear. You hear a low swirling sound as the elemental moves about inside the container. Okay, so it's not, it's not going to let us drink the water elemental. Maybe put it in the fountain. That's an interesting idea. I wonder if that would do anything. Let's find it. Let's try it. What would that do? Good question. Let's find out. You must carry your visa at all times. Hey, there's people here. They weren't, they weren't here yesterday. You see several people gathered in the south part of the plaza. The guards of Razier look like they might be itching for a fight. Something tells you in the back of your mind to hold on to the water elemental. Okay, okay. It was, it was a solid, solid theory. <clears throat> Do not bother the guards. No! 
Do not interfere! Hero! You must help me! Do something! The swords of the guards press deeper into your skin. There are no heroes in this town. You of all men should know that, Ugarta. Ugarta? Agarti? I know very little. What is going on? I am innocent of any wrongdoing. If you are so innocent, then what is this? I don't know what that water bag could have gotten there. Someone must have planted it on me. Water skins under your tunic, Ugarta? You know that smuggling water is a crime against the state. You also know what we do to criminals like you. No, no, please! I am innocent! I do not know how it got there! No! Hero, help! I'm trying. This is the fate of anyone who breaks the rules of the city. Remember this and see that you do not suffer the same fate. I hope you are smart enough to learn this lesson. You do not want to see the dungeons of Razier. Yeah, hey, free groundwater. The floor of the plaza is covered with dirt and filth. Who knows what you might catch if you tried drinking that water. You can't get the spilled water. The water spilled by Ugarta. Okay, fine. Guess I'll uh, just talk to Senor Ferrari. You're walking through one of the many twisty streets of the city. The twisty, identical streets. If you are truly a hero, follow me. You see an open doorway. Quickly, before the guards come. The street has been barricaded off. The sign reads, Road Closed by Order of Kavin. Whoa! Please, you must help me. Take off your clothes. I must leave the city before I am forced to marry Kavin. I have heard you are a hero. Without your help, with your help, I mean, bleh, with your help, I can be out of the city before nightfall. I wish to disguise myself as you and leave with your visa, so please let me exchange clothes with you. My name is Zaisha, daughter of Emir Ali al-Din Hassan. My father would never overthrow his brother, no matter what foul rumors you have heard. My father is just a puppet for Johnny Fuckface. Johnny Fuckface. I fear and hate him more than Kavin. It was he who destroyed my uncle Aris and made Razir the terrible place it now is. Johnny Fuckface was my uncle's vizier. It's always the vizier. When will people learn to stop having viziers? They always ruin things. Especially if their name is Johnny Fuckface. There are only two passions to Johnny Fuckface. Complete power and complete control. He will stop at nothing to gain those. He is a brutal man. I do not like the way he looks at me. One day, he took my father and me down to the dungeons to watch the torturing of prisoners. He had the same kind of look as he watched their pain. I will not marry him! I do not know the truth of this rumor, but I have heard that Adavis is very much afraid of fire. The palace is filled with guards, and all women must stay in the harem. All the women must stay there now, hiding their faces behind veils. Did you know it is forbidden for a man to speak to a woman, unless she is his mother, daughter, or wife? It is all Johnny Fuckface is doing. He must really hate women. I know how to survive in the desert. It is my home. 
Before Johnny Fuckface took over the city, I roamed it freely at will. The caravan is but a day's ride ahead of me. I will catch it easily. The caravan master is my friend. He taught me how to ride when I was little. I will travel with the caravan back to Shapir. I know the Sultan Harun al-Rashid. He will let me stay at his place. Okay, uh... I guess we gotta give her the clothes. You hand her the spare change of clothes that Shima packed for you. Thank you so very much. Holy shit! This is gonna get my stream taken down, you guys! Oh, what? She gave... Why did Shima give us a wig, too? That's pretty weird, I gotta say. I know, right? That was pretty racy for a Sierra game. Well, that... No, that's not true. They made Leisure Suit Larry. How do I look? Do you think this will fool anyone? It's so nice not to have to wear a stupid veil. Please, in order to leave the city, I need one more thing. Although it will be dangerous for you. I must have your visa. We're gunning for Paladin Hood, lady. You can have the visa. I must hurry before the eunuchs discover I am gone. Kaveen will have the city searched. May I please have your visa? I'm I'm trying. Maybe. Give her the visa. This is the visa, right? I'm not crazy. Writing registration for the Saurus. It's a Revzerian visa. Don't leave home without it. Warning items you drop will be lost permanently. No. Take the visa. Take the goddamn visa. Hang on. What goes on here? Seriously, it wouldn't let me give the visa. Hang on, I gotta- I gotta make sure I didn't fuck that up. Cause I really tried. You guys saw, I clicked it all over her. Seriously. I gotta- I gotta make sure. I gotta make sure it didn't fuck me. I gotta make sure this is supposed to happen. You are dragged away to the dungeons of Razier. Okay, that was bad. You guys saw that. That was some bullshit. That was some bullshit. Why wouldn't it let me give her the visa? Where else could I have clicked? Because it says I should be able to do that. Alright, well, we're going to watch this cutscene again. That's nonsense. I don't, I don't like that. That doesn't feel good. Yeah, no, no, he's got water. Oh no, what are we gonna do about the water? Oh.
Seriously, what was that? Now I'm in a bad mood. This better not be glitched. But hey, you know what? We're gonna get to see her undress again, so wow. It's gonna get racy. I can't use that item here? Why not? Okay, whatever. I give her the clothes. <laughs> Raciness! Oh no, my goodness! Scandal! Maybe just center the visa on her. I guess we're gonna have to try that. I must have your visa. Okay. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Her the gam give her the fucking visa! Put the line in the visa directly on her- Oh! Good job, Silent Devil. Seriously. Usually, when it comes to these games, the interactive point is like a p an edge on the pixel. So... Okay. Good, good call. Good call. Good work. Yeah. Like I said, I thought it was the... It's usually the edge of the pixel. Like it is. I'm like, that's the that's how it is with Gabriel Knight and games like that. So I guess that's just... That's... that's uh, Whatever. Whatever. I can only give you a token. Here is my mirror. You have but to show it to any woman in the palace and she will aid you. Hey, we got another magic mirror. Again, my thanks. May fortune favor you. Farewell. Seriously, thanks for that. I was getting angry. <laughs> Because that's usually how it works. Wait until she clears the alleyway before you leave, Effendi. What about you? Who are you? I am called Mazen. Kaveen finds great pleasure in the pain of others. Now make like Leisure Suit Larry and take... That is what Leisure Suit Larry would do. But the hero we deserve is aspiring to be a paladin. So we're... we're... We're being, we're being as good as we can possibly be. Kaveen will not marry Zayisha. I will kill him myself before I let him have you. Her. You're not you. Whoops! I <laughs> can't read. I have been her ser I've been a servant to her since she was little and her slave since Aravis made slaves. I will do anything for her. Oh, wait. Let's see... He has a snake's eyes, and he hates all women. The city of Razir has been destroyed by Kaveen and Johnny Fuckface. You can't use that item here. Okay, well, yeah. Seriously, Mr. 4chan, the poster child of 4chan. You won't be needing them. Okay, this isn't King's Quest VI, where you do do such a thing. If you need a place of safety in the palace sometime, the harem will welcome you for the aid you gave to my mistress. I shall tie a veil from the battlements at night to guide you. 
Thank you greatly, Effendi hero. Yeah, I know, right? Alright, well, uh, what time is it now? Mid-afternoon. How's our stats? Honor, 97. Throwing, 66. We're getting, we're getting better. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, you're in the right place. Let me tell you, silent devil. You must carry your visa at all times. Gate Plaza. All right, well, let's try and... There's a large closed door blocking your way. Apparently, the sleeping rooms are only accessible at night. You spend an hour avoiding eye contact with the rest of the room's occupants. You've been playing Donkey Kong 64, you're up the Fungi Forest. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm doing overkill, because I'm doing a 100% run. I know I have more than enough bananas to, like, go through the next few worlds, but that's not the... That's not the name of the game. How you liking it? Isn't it great? I love it. After an hour of rest, you don't really feel better. In fact, your thirst is worse than ever. Oh, okay. Guess it is night now. Weren't we supposed to talk to Senor Ferrari? As you enter, the sounds of the bar go still. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, my dear sir. Ferrari avoids your eye and your question as he studiously swats flies. Oh, they're under the third level and they died. Oh, the trampoline, like the boop, 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 and then it hits you. Yeah, dude, I hate that. Oh, it's flies. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Suddenly he doesn't want to talk to me? What gives? Oh, shit. You are under arrest for breaking the law of Razir on this, the 29th day of the serpent, year of the djinn. Come quietly or you will be taken by force. You briefly consider struggling with the guards, but realize that there are just too many of them. Um, excuse me. I slew a pack of jackal men. I am fine with having many, many foes. You follow the guards through the dark streets, past the gates of the palace, and into the dungeon of Razir. After being dragged to the dungeon of the palace, you were roughly searched, beaten, and questioned by the guards. They warned you that Kavin will be coming soon to personally question you. So he's going to torture the shit out of us, is kind of what I'm gathering. Oof. We're doing well tonight, though. We've gotten, like, over a hundred points. Ugh. Ugh, stretch break. And that you won't enjoy it. <laughs> Kavin can come personally to suck my nuts. Oh, yeah. We're gonna beat the shit out of that guy. Something tells me we're gonna end up fighting him at some point. Name. The Kata just stares suspiciously at you. Just stares suspiciously? Okay. Kata doesn't want to talk to me. Oh, tell about Shima. This could be Shafar. You tell the Kata about your relationship, your friendship with his cousin Shima. My heart says that you are a friend, yet my mind fears you are a trap. Is there not some token you can show me to prove what you say? Uh, wait, didn't she give me a thing? Oh, I've got my friend of the Kata thing. A pin like that can only be seen by a friend. Such is its magic. You must be very trusted by my people to gain such a thing. Well, Kata friend, let us escape this very dangerous place. There's a concealed passageway somewhere outside this cell. 
I have helped others escape by passageways before, but this is the first I have been trapped in a cell, and I am not easily captured. I was captured when a former member of the Underground betrayed us, and the guards found where I stayed. The Resistance consists of many of the guards and townfolk who rebel against the tyranny of the new Emir. The new Emir is but a fool, and the Underground will soon depose him. It is rumored that Kavin is but a tool for someone more cruel and powerful. Someone who uses magic to rule Rezia. Kavin is the most feared man in all Rezia, although rumor has it he is not the most powerful. The magic of the kata is subtle. An oil lamp that never burns out. A door that always opens to your touch. A pin that can only be seen by friends. Sharaf, it means honor. Okay. It is a wooden table. The bars are made of thick iron. Bending them would be out of the question. The cell is made from quarried rock with massive iron barns, bars and a huge gate. Despite the heat outside, it is very cold here. You can't open the barred window. The bars on the window are heavy iron and are set in stone. Let's hope you fare better than the cell's previous occupant. Despite the heat, the walls in here are stone cold. There's a concealed passageway somewhere outside this cell. I've helped others escape by passageways before. Okay. I would follow you gladly, but first we must escape this uh, cell. Talk about Shapir. I'm inside Steve Austin. Hell yeah! And that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. Dun, 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 dun. Great, uh, tell about Shapir. You've made friends and told tales. It's time to think about escaping. Okay, enough already. How do we escape here? Can we melt the bars with the fire elemental? Or do we only have the pin? We only have the pin. Okay, I get it. Can we use the pin to pick the lock? No. You don't know- Oh, that's right! I don't know how to pick locks, because I'm not a thief. That's me. That's on me. Can't open the barred window. Catboy looks derpy. He's on the nip, alright. So there's a hidden, hidden thing, huh? Okay. Enough already. You need to use your own head if you want to escape from here alive. Okay, so there's got to be a thing I can click on in here to get out of the cell. I hear guards talking just outside the door. You may be able to turn the tables on this situation, just not in that way. This is difficult to accomplish from inside the cell. You don't need any straw. Well, that's the last straw. It is straw. Wait. What did that say? There was something that said something else, but I clicked out of it too fast. The gate is made of the same iron. The lock is a simple key mounting. Oh, there's a thing. <laughs> okay, that was easy. I have heard from others in the underground that there is a concealed passage in this room outside the cell. Yeah, we just broke all the bars, apparently. That's how badass we are. The entrance to the passageway should be here. Yes, it is here. Lend your strong shoulder to the task. I have helped others escape through the secret passageways. Do not fear. I will lead you to safety through the passageways, Kata friend. Perhaps you should, before you leave, you should pick up your equipment over there, near the cell. But do not dally too long, or the guards will surely come. 
and recover all of your equipment. Let's get out of here. Let's blow this uh, popsicle stand. The Cata leads you through dark passages under the palace to a secret exit into the Razier streets. If I understand correctly, you are he who defended Shapir from those magical elementals, and you are now here to liberate our fair city. I am impressed by your sense of honor, yet despite your previous heroics, I think you will need assistance in taking down the entire Razerian regime. I believe you should lay low for now, friend of the Kata. If you are captured again, they will surely kill you on sight. Tomorrow night, the Underground will launch an attack on the palace in an attempt to overthrow the Emir. If you can manage to stay out of Kavin's hands for one more day, you would be a very valuable ally to us. The grandmothers of our grandmothers' grandmothers were born in this place. Kata have lived here since before there was even a city. No one can keep the Kata from their home. The Kata will come back. We are little folk, yes. Still, we can bring down the state. I'm screenshotting that. That's going on Twitter. Something else. <laughs> Enough already. You bid Sharaf farewell. You are right. Our chances of avoiding capture will be greater if we split up. Do not return to the Blue Parrot. Those scoundrels will not hesitate to turn you in once they hear Kavin is looking for you. Avoid the gods at all costs, as they will soon know of our escape. May we both farewell, hero friend. Suicide is punishable by death. But um, Ignorance of the law is no excuse. Oh, I better save. Save as the Great Escape. Okay, so I gotta find a place to hide. I guess, uh, I guess the harem is gonna be our best bet. Can't think of anywhere else we've been directed to... Oh! Okay. You find you cannot move. The man before you has a low, pleasant voice and eyes like a snake. The hero we deserve. I am your friend. Remember your friend, Johnny Fuckface. Remember my voice. Remember my face. Well, it's gonna be easy since you're just getting up in my grill and waving your hands. Okay, remember my voice. Remember my face. Trust me. I am your friend. I, I don't like where this is going. You try to struggle, but your body will not obey. You cannot even close your eyes, but you try to avoid his gaze. There is something about his eyes, though. He's just ka. Yeah, I think we got some ka shit. I am your friend, and you trust me. Trust in my words. Trust in my eyes. Yeah, yeah, we got ka shit. He's controlling us. Look in my eyes and trust me. You look at his eyes and cannot look away. They seem to glow. His words seem to whirl around your head. The hero we deserve. I am your friend. Obey now your friend, Johnny Fuckface. As he eats the arrow. Delicious! Obey now my words. Obey now my voice. It 
Scoffing trough, exactly. Trust in your friend and obey me. Who does he think he is? Stan from Monkey Island? Look at how he's moving those... <laughs> you find yourself relaxing. You are with a friend. His eyes are gentle, and his smile warms you. The hero we deserve. You know me. I am your friend, Adavis, who helped you escape from the dungeons of Razir. He said something the other day about not feeding them bananas one at a time. Yeah. <laughs> I'm selling these fine leather jackets, the hero we deserve. Why aren't women into nice guys? Together we seek to aid our friend, Emir Aris. I was his trusted vizier, remember? I mean, collecting one banana and feeding them? I think it's just one banana and feeding them. You find yourself nodding at this humble, gentle man. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna play out. If we're, like, mind-controlled, do we, like, still control our character? To end the evil reign of Kavin and restore our friend, the Emir Aris. Together, we must go out into the desert. Oh, I should be doing him like... I should be doing him like Jafar. I don't think Johnny Fuckface is a nice guy. Yeah, our friend Johnny Fuckface. I'm just gonna call it, that's his name. To end the reign of Kavin. Okay, I get it, to end the reign. We must journey to the city of Forbidden, the Forbidden City and recover the magic item that will break the spell upon the enemy. We need to get the statue of Iblis. Okay, we know that's a bad thing. Maybe it's magic. Magic. Yes, you know this is something you've got to do. But you frown as you try to remember something you once heard about Iblis. He's like the fucked up evil genie. God damn it, the hero we deserve. You remember the statue of Iblis, don't you? It has remarkable power and can break any spell it touches. There we go. That's the voice. That's the voice for Johnny Fuckface. It can break any spell it touches. We need to take the statue to Aris, our friend. Together, let us save the city of Rezia. He puts his arm on your shoulders and you smile. Here is a man of great wisdom that you have trusted and respected, and he needs your help. Together, you will save the Emir. You and Johnny Fuckface will get the Statue of Iblis. You there. Try walking through the door now. through it. Oh, get out of the way. Oh shit, it's actually just Aladdin. Yeah, honestly, it seems that way. This guy is like Jafar had sex with Ka, which somebody's probably driven art, uh, <laughs> driven, drawn art of. You have no idea how or why you got here, but it's nice to be able to help such a nice man. Kafar. Oh my god, somebody's probably drawing that right now as we speak. I cannot be mistaken. My translation of the prophecy must be correct. It must be you. Of all the stupid heroes in the world, I had to be cursed with you. Hey, I'm just the hero you deserve, Johnny Fuckface. What is wrong? How does it go? For 1,000 years and a year, Iblis will be bound. I know it has been 1,000 and weird years to this very day, so that must be correct. Toast is nice. I don't know how we ate bread before toast. Beneath the tombstones of the city that he once this found, 
Blech. This is the Forbidden City. There is no doubt of that. Then comes a hero from the Northland, led unto despair. You are the only hero that I have found recently. It must be you. And I have no doubt you will despair before I am through with you. Passing through the door opened that he will find there. The door! A cursed door! Why can you not pass through it? When the moonlight shines between the dragon's jaws and is caught and held there by the scorpion's claws. Beware. Take care. Beware. The moon! It is not due to rise between the two constellations until tomorrow. How can I be wrong? I will not be denied! I cannot be wrong. It did not say one thousand and one years and a day. No! But where, how can the moon be where it cannot be? You! You're the hero. Answer me. How the moon can be between the dragon and the scorpion. Your friend ignores you. He is concentrating intensely on the door. You can say goodbye all you want, but putting your intention into practice proves impossible without the ability to move your legs. Okay, so we can only... We can't walk. You find that you have no desire to speak. Passing through the door. What is it about that door? Door with stars, constellations. The scorpion and the dragon are on the door. It must be when the moon shines upon the door that you may pass through it. Let me see. Where's the moon now? The moon is to the southeast, but the door is facing north. The moonlight will not pass over us with enough to cast light upon the door. Why is this happening to me? After all these years of planning, how can so many things go wrong? Well, hero from the Northland, are you so powerful a magician you can move the moon from its orbit and force it to shine on the door? Or are you so strong that you can bend light? What can you say or do that will let you pass the door? You find you can speak and move your arms again, but you can't seem to move your legs. The door to the Forbidden City is sealed as in the Retentis. He seems like a such man. You would really like to be able to help him. You can't reach him. Your legs won't move. You have no reason to do that. You can't open the entrance to the Forbidden City. You gotta feel for the area. Johnny Fuckface. Questions! Do you have nothing better to do than to waste my time? Let me think and advise you to do the same. Enough! You do not want to make me angry. I grow impatient with your nonsense. Either find a way to make the moon obey you, or you will face my wrath. You would try the patience of a dervish! Do something! <laughs> you know, I'm really not getting much of a threat of... This guy doesn't seem like that much of a menace if he's just like, I just can't do shit! So be it. By the powers of all darkness, by the power of my name, shall your soul be mirrored outward and your body be the same. Ah, oh, fuck. I should have saved. Hey, now we're a Saurus, too. Oh, no. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna have to watch that cutscene again. I'll click through it, though. Yeah, ouch. I should have saved. I just, I just, I just talk to people in these games. That's how you do things. You know? I'm Johnny Fuckface. You're gonna obey me. Boogity, boogity, boogity. I'm your friend, and it's great. I'm Johnny Fuckface. Let's go get the thing. There. <laughs>
na 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 Okay, and he's all zapping the stuff. He thinks he's so cool. How can the moon be between the scorpion and the dragon? Provides the only illumination with really the eerie tableau. The fallen tower once stood guard over an ancient city. Get a feel for the area. Get a feel for the area. Uh, I guess it was probably the mirror. You whip the mirror out of your pocket and carefully direct the reflected moonlight between the constellations. Look at those lighting effects, guys. At last! Now how does the rest of the prophecy go? And at last the hero, he who waits behind, shall see. While Iblis rises by the Dark One, and the light shall flee. By the name of Suleiman, so shall this be. Now you know all you need to know. Go in there and bring me the statue of Iblis. For a few moments, your mind is overwhelmed by the squalling, whirling wind. Then the euphoric feeling starts to fade, and you stand alone in the darkness. The past few hours are hazy in your memory. You only remember only one thing clearly. You are here to find the statue of Iblis. Okay, uh... Do, do, do. All right. The rushing river boils furiously. The glow in this cavern comes from phosphorescent fungi. The stream flows swiftly to a waterfall, which disappears beneath a great cavern far below. Many is the time you've regretted your lack of formal swimming education. Let me get the log. Damn it. Timing puzzle. We can do this. Oh my god, we're dead. The swift current overwhelms you with emotions and it sweeps you off your feet and carries you away. Alright, well that clearly wasn't it. Let's see if there's anything cool going on over here. Hmm. Something tells me this is going to be all the whole counter element stuff is going to come into play. I know that or it's a timing puzzle. You know, I might as well, might as well... Save here. Let's see if we can see uh, if it says anything about the log. No, look at the log. The old logs and other debris come from above. The rushing water carries them deep into the caverns far below. Okay, that's neat. Nothing happens. What about this? Nothing happens. Okay. Okay, so we can't we can't walk on the log. Turns out. <laughs> Whoops. Wah. All the logs from the desert forests. Yeah, good point. Where and they're in a cave too? What is this all about? Maybe I can get the log if I'm fast enough. Try jumping from the mossy bank by the falls. Okay. You lack the skill to climb a tree, let alone a slippery rock. Cavern feels slick with water and moss. Alright, here we go. And go! And go! And go! No! Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. If you guys are doing a drink and die to this, uh, 
<laughs> that's gonna be the whole. That's gonna be the problem. Hey, Leaky Bowl, welcome to the stream. This is the saga of the hero we deserve. We gloriously triumphed in Quest for Glory One. Go! There we go. Super Mario. Oh, I should save. I should save. Fuck. Oh, I should have saved. Your foot slips due to the force of the air rushing into that small opening. There's a tremendous pressure from all the wind trying to surge into the hole, and you struggle to overcome it. Okay. Woo! That was close. No kidding. Let's, uh, let's save. Can I go behind? I guess? Yes, we can. Alright, dope. Oh, is, is our hair on fire? What's going on over here? It looks like our hair is getting set on fire. And it won't let us go that way? Okay. Maybe we need to put the fire elemental out. You should keep your lamp lit here. And we'll just set our hair on fire again, because why not? Is that doing anything to our hit points? Uh, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Great volumes of air are being sucked into this small hole. Uh, can we get dirt and throw the dirt into the, into the air? Like the lady said. The cavern feels slick with water and moss. Or maybe the water elemental? You can't use that item here. Okay. Phew, that was close. Alright. Disappears into a great cavern far below. Careful examiner for the air hole in the rocks above reveals there are some loose stones that hold the structure together. There are small fissures running along its base in the rocks above. Block hole. That's a great idea, but how? Push rocks. Pushing the rocks proves futile. You have to try something else. Oh, we're getting blown. This hole has given us a blow job. Apply force. Use the force. There we go. The wind no longer blows as fiercely as before. Hell yeah. Cavern feels slick with water and moss. Okay, so we blocked the hole. Maybe that was what was causing the uh, causing our hair to get set on fire. Let's uh, let's try going this way now. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Hey, there we go. We're smart. Ah, oh, what? Even with the lamp, the darkness can be treacherous. I don't I don't think so. Ugh. I'm having flashbacks to King's Quest 1. Trying to walk on those stairs. What is it with Sierra games and making it so that like you just always fall? Okay, I am sticking close to the wall. That seems to be working. Oh, shit! The heat of this room is painful! You feel the sweat pour down from you and hear it sizzle on the ground below. There's the distinct odor of brimstone around you. Guys, Abu must have tried to jack some uh, gems or something. The hell is the matter with you, Abu? We don't even have an Abu. But we do have a lady in a bottle. Go, Christina! I can't use that item here. Really? 
This guy, this, there'll probably be an opportunity to use it later. Avoid the flare-ups. Okay, maybe not. I don't... I can't tell what I'm supposed to be doing. Pathfinding? What pathfinding? Oh my god, this is terrible. Good thing we got a lot of life, I guess. I can't quite tell if there's supposed to be a rhyme or reason to where we can and can't walk, but I'll just do this. We might finish this game tonight, guys. Honestly, at the rate we're going. And I kind of hope we do. Because if we don't, then we'll have like a few minutes of this for next Monday, and then we'll end up starting Quest for Glory 3, probably. Okay. It doesn't even really seem like our uh, lantern is illuminating anything. Well, that was one way down, but it hurt a lot. You hear a deep, echoing voice. None shall enter, none shall pass, but he who speaks the name of power. Speak thou the name of power! Nothing but the voice's demand seems to be important. You hear a roar of rocks collapsing in the distance. Jumanji, Steve. Oh, I should have said Shazam! Did I fuck up? Speak the name of power. Uh, it's not, it's not Iblis? Speak the name of power. Arnold Schwarzenegger. I didn't spell that right at all. It's not Iblis? Last thought is the cavern collapses around you are, who thought up this crummy puzzle anyway? Good fucking question. Shoot. Okay. Well, there's probably somebody I... Oh, they probably told me this at some point in the game and I forgot. Speak now the name of power. The hero we deserve. Wait, you think it's a hint? Speak now the name of power. Speak the name of power. Roberta Williams. That's the name of power in Sierra. Okay. Speak now the name of power. Uh... Yeah, I know. I should stop with the joke guesses. Speak now the name of power. Uh... We'll get it eventually. What am I forgetting? I'm like, okay, what did I talk to Aziza about? None shall enter, none shall pass, but he who speaks the name of power. Speak now the name of power. Is this like a copy protection thing? Like it'd be in the manual or something? Uh... You found the name. Uh... Yeah, what is it, man? Speak the name. Macho Man. 
Brandy. Sule. Oh, of course. The one thing that seemed like a... Oh, you know what? I was so into doing the voice acting that I was paying a little bit less attention to what Ed Avis was actually saying in that moment. I can see how I missed that hint. That's on me. You hear a sound of thunder. Well, you can see, my guesses weren't that far off. And they should have they should have had something for Roberta Williams. If this is a Sierra game. Ding, ding, spooky dukes. Hey, treasure. Oh. Well, I guess I don't know what I expected. To succeed, you need to be freed from the greed. Uh, you know what? What are you supposed to do if you don't know the name? You're supposed to call the hint line or buy the hint book. That's what you're supposed to do. Because, okay, Ad Avis said something about, he said, by the name of Suleiman, this should be so. That's like, that's not, that is not enough hinting, I don't think. Okay, where is the edge of the screen? Or is this it, and we just have to find the statue of Iblis? Don't touch anything but the lamp. You know what's crazy is this would have predated Aladdin. A glow illuminates this chamber. It flows from an object high atop the strange structure before you. At the sight of the glowing object, you feel irresistibly drawn forward. Take only the lamp! Your feet seem to move with a will of their own. What else is new? We've been controlled for like the last 30 minutes. Kind of sounds like Star Trek is about to start. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages. Okay, as you draw near, you see that the object is a statue made of crystal. A dark, shapeless form stirs within it. The crystal's cool glow is numbing. You feel compelled to pick it up. But as you reach out, you are suddenly unable to move. <laughs> Fool. Some hero you are, a pawn of the very man you sought to destroy. Thanks to your help, I now have that through which I can summon the greatest destructive power ever known. Iblis himself! But even though he's the greatest destructive power, his isn't the name of power. No, it's the name we said once in the freaking game. Couldn't he have just teleported in here from the beginning? Sure seems that way. What the hell is this guy's problem? That's why that that's why I call this guy Johnny Fuckface. Do you know how long I have awaited this moment? 70 years! He looks pretty good for 70. I guess he's probably older than 70, actually. He's aging gracefully, I guess. 70 years I have served the Dark Master while watching for the stars to align. Seventy years I have spent learning the magic that controls men's minds and waiting for a fool to fulfill the prophecy for me. Tonight, as the moon arises between the scorpion's claws and the dragon's teeth, I shall begin the ritual that shall make me the master. I will control Iblis and thus control the world. Of course, while you, pawn of the prophecy, shall remain behind in this tomb, you shall be he who waits behind. You just wait, chump. I am going to be the hero we deserve. <laughs> Farewell, hero. Well, that's rough. You get a feel for the area. Okay. We're trapped. 
But that's okay. The door is blocked by tons of rocks. Apparently for good. All right, guys, we're too far. I got, I got to finish the game tonight. Even with your great strength, it would be impossible to move all those rocks. You'd better find another way to escape. Well, if there's one thing we know about Earth, it doesn't like wind. No, wait, Earth doesn't like fire. So we got to find a way to set fire to the rocks. Yeah. Can't use that item here. Okay, fine. Oh, something flashes in the darkness. You pick up the ring and read it. He who waits behind. You put it on your finger. You twist it a bit to see its design. Oh, we got the genie of the ring, y'all. I bet. <clears throat> oh! I may grant you one of three mish wishes, O oh master of the ring. What is your first wish? Uh, gee. Well, I was supposed to make sure Iblis doesn't get loose, so now I guess I gotta help you bring him back, as the prophecy says. Iblis was the most powerful of all jinn. A thousand years and a year ago, he created a huge city here and tried to make all men bow before him. Suleiman summoned all the jinn to his side, and with their power, turned the city into Iblis's tomb. Then Iblis himself was caught and bound and became the statue you saw here. Okay, something else. Something else. Name. I've been in the ring so long, I think I forgot. You may call me Ginny, though. I can grant you three wishes by the power of the ring. I can get you anything you want, as long as it's health, prowess, or teleporting you to Iblis. Uh, teleport me to Iblis, I guess. I'm supposed to make sure Iblis is returned to the Forbidden City. I do have enough magic to take me with me to take you where uh, Iblis has been taken, I think. Um... Well, I guess there's no reason not to wish for everything, right? Or, if he, okay, so if he can only do health, prowess, and teleportation, um, I'm gonna wish for health. I can heal your wounds and injuries and make you all better. I can give you the ability of 10 men at any skill you want to improve upon. You have but to wish for strength, magic, or intelligence, or sneaking, or, well, you get the idea. Something else? Enough already. Make wish. What is your wish, master? Okay. Um... Parry, dodge, stealth, lock picking, throwing, climbing, communication, healing. Um, okay, so we get to do two of these, I guess. I wish for... Vitality. By, the ma by my power, may you have the skill of ten men. I suddenly feel much more skilled. Gee, it's nice when the magic works. You also feel your combat skills being honed. The next time you fight, try using the power of the enemy's swing to execute a spinning slash. To execute the sword dance, press the special hotkey after parrying an enemy's swing. Okay, that's pretty sick. I will also wish for weapon use. Yeah, weapon use. Because that's like what we use the most of. Round. Try following an overhead slash with an upward jumping slash. But one wish left. Teleport to Iblis. You can maybe get a skill you don't have. But uh, can we? it hasn't even been given me an opportunity to use those skills. So, I don't know. Because, like, I try and climb and it's just like, you're not a thief. I try and lockpick, it's like, you're not a thief. Or sneaking or anything like that. There'll be no safety for anyone until Iblis has returned, Master. We must hurry and bring him back. In the name of Suleiman bin Daoud, the binder, and by my power as he who waits behind, take us to Iblis! Worst case scenario, I'll reload. Something tells me we don't have that much longer in the game. This seems pretty climactic. Wow, what do you know? It worked! My magic really worked! We are now in what you would call Razia. This is as close to Iblis as I could get. There are some very powerful spells coming from that palace over there. We don't have much time, but what are you waiting for? Let's go! There's a soft whisper from the alleyway. Hero friend, what magic you have at your command! The underground is prepared to attack the palace. If you need to enter there, we will provide some distraction for you. 
However, we are almost ready, so you must hurry before you are caught in our battle. Sounds like Game of Thrones is about to start. Sharaf silently sneaks off. Let's go. Let's mosey. Hey, where do you think you're going? Iblis is in the power. We haven't got much time. He's getting more powerful. Oh, okay. I guess I thought Sharaf was going to the palace. I guess I was wrong. You can't stop now. Iblis is starting to awaken. Oh, okay. I guess I... <laughs> halt in the name of the law. How about you shut the fuck up? Guards to the gates! A swarm of five guards come storming out of the palace after you. You fight valiantly and desperately against overwhelming odds. Suddenly you and the guards turn as you hear a rumbling and crashing from inside the palace. No! Iblis is loose! Oh. Oh shit. It's Slimer! It's Blue Slimer! What are we gonna do? You did your best, just wasn't good enough. Okay, so that was... Whoops. New plan. <laughs> Let's go back. We'll make our wish. And I uh, guess we'll just have to go back in and fight him. Yeah, RIP. Didn't save. I know, I know, I know. Something flashes in the darkness. Give me the goods. Okay. Make wish. We're not going to waste any time. I want vitality so we won't run out of stamina as much. I would like weapon use so we can just do more damage. Teleport to Iblis. We're going to beat the game tonight, guys. It's exciting. Let's get him! Halt in the name of the law! Guards to the gates! No! Iblis is loose! Okay, so that's... That's obviously not what we're supposed to do, apparently. Okay, so we can't go to the... Uh, gate. You examine the item but find nothing unusual about it. Maybe we can blow all the guards. Oh no, maybe we can wash them. Oh. Guards to the gates. What's that thing on the wall over there? Yeah, that looks like a flag of some kind. That's gotta be it. That's gotta be the secret. a scarf left by a harem girl to show the way. There's nothing to do there. There's nothing to do. You cannot take the scarf. I guess I have to sneak? There's nothing to do there. There's nothing to do there. No. Shit. <laughs> awesome. Okay, maybe we gotta use the... A eunuch patrols the parapet. Use the wind on the scarf. Use the wind on myself. You examine the item, you find nothing unusual about it. So it's not a timing thing. That can't be it. What am I missing? What am I supposed to do? Dispel potion? 
Groucho Marx glasses. I was looking through a veil. Cool. There's nothing to do there. Halt in the name of the law. Guards to the gates. Fight valiantly. Iblis is loose. No. What's going on? Guards the gate! Let's get him, Elijah One! We'll make short work of this hero! Okay. I should have popped some pills. I'm in trouble. No, Master, we must get through! Yeah, I'm gonna have to start over. Okay, let's try that with health this time. Okay, just out of curiosity, what are our stats like? Okay, yeah, that guy, that guy really did come through. Worst case scenario, we'll have to wish for something different. Alright, let's get these fucks. I gotta remember everything I've learned. Damn it. I can only damage one guy at a time. So I gotta just be careful. Sa sa! Waha! It works! Honestly, sa hit him! Hit, sit, hit, hit, hit! The hero we deserve! Come on! Come on! Come on! Fuck! I'm gonna have to do this again. Okay, there's one. <laughs> Fuck me. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to wish for something else, I think. I'm gonna wish for something else. I'm gonna wish for strength, so we do more damage. No, wait, vitality should give us more health. Actually, that should be good, so I, sh I, should, I should not do that. I just gotta try again, I just gotta get good. Is there anything else I have that could be cool or helpful? No, not really. Okay. No, fuck me. Not what I meant to do.
No, Master, you'd only get yourself caught. We're gonna get caught anyway. Okay, I just gotta remember, just like fighting the Jackalman. Fucking Numlock. That fucked me over. Okay, we're doing better this time. There's one. Who's next? Who's next? Who wants some of the hero we deserve? I've come too far in this game to give up now. I will be the hero of Shapir. I will be the hero that all these games deserve. I will kill you! Fucking numlock again! Uh. God damn it, again! I keep hitting numlock and it keeps freezing, so I end up not. I end up just standing there like a chump and taking it. Oh my god, and I fucked it up again. No, wait. No, not quite. Not quite. Not quite. Oh no, there we go. There's where we fucked it up. Holy shit. Okay. Gotta make sure I don't press numlock this time. Wait, am I starting with lower stamina? Did I not take the stamina pill? That might be, that might be a key. I'm gonna have to do this again. I'm starting at half stamina. Oh, well that's it. That's the problem. I mean, we're gonna try it now, but, like, that's what I- I gotta pop the stamina pills, too. That's my problem. not even trying right now. I'm not trying right now. Just kill me. Just kill me. Would it be different if I started when the eunuch wasn't on the balcony? I tried that, and he just shows up anyway. So, that can't be it. Like, I tried waiting, and he just didn't, uh, it just, he just shows up. He shows up no matter what. No, I got rid of all my rocks. Because I was over encumbered. I'm gonna really try and wait now. Okay, he's not on the balcony. He's completely gone, and he comes back, so yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think I can do anything about the eunuch. 
Not without going way far back. Fucking numlock again! I'm foaming at the mouth. Yeah, goddamn Elijah won. He's gonna be Elijah Nun by the time I'm done with him. Elijah Zero. Yes, I did just turn into Taz. I gotta remember the secret to this sound, to this game that we learned. Make lots of noise during fighting. That was intense. That took so much freaking concentration. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I'd fucked myself for a second. I thought I'd gotten it into an unwinnable state. We got their asses though. We got their asses. Now let me let me drop some shit. Let me pop some shit now. No, let me save. Let me save. Let me save. The gate is being attacked. Somebody help. We're storming the palace. Hurry, master! You must follow me! You race through the palace passageways, pausing now and then to evade scurrying guards. The Ginny of the Ring, for Oz's forgetful nature, seems to have a clear idea where he's taking you. Through here, master! Iblis is close and time is short! There, master! Through that door over there is where the ritual chamber where Iblis is being summoned. Let's go! The people of the city are revolting, and Johnny Fuckface has to choose this time of all times to do some sort of magical ceremony. I am ordered to guard this door when I should be out leading the troops. A pox upon the head of all magicians. You will have to give the orders. Let no one into the palace. If a single person gets past you, I will have your head on a platter. To hear is to obey, sir. Well, what are you waiting for? We need to get to that door. That hurt, but it's good to know you're tough, agile, and know how to take a fall. So, you managed to escape. Ad Avis does not know everything, it seems. But this is as far as you'll get! 
At least we're fighting one guy. Good. I have been waiting for this moment. Uh, my controls aren't working. What the hell is happening? No, oh, he disarmed me. As your eyes dart to your sword, Kavin moves his blade closer to your chest. Trying to achieve blade now would be suicide. That's it. Beat him over the head with your shield. Uh... No need to provoke Kavine anymore. He's already preparing to finish you off. Take advantage of your indecision, Kavine. I was pressing the button. I was pressing the button. I was doing shit. I don't... I don't... I don't get that. I don't get that at all. I tried to use this... Whatever, whatever, whatever. Whatever! Let's get this guy. Hurry, master! You must follow me! Okay, let's try this again. Let's see how much of a hero you really are. Come on. Oh, ha, that was easy. And Ad Avis called you a hero. I'm disappointed. Now yield to me and grovel on the floor. I might consider sparing your life. Yield! You shake your head in defiance. When I said yield, I mean yield! You tell Kavin you won't yield to him no matter what. I said yield! You dare Kavin to kill you in cold blood. In response, he raises his sword to strike. Good for you, master! Did you do it again? Wait, how, he just armed us again? You don't need to pick up Kavin's weapon. If you want to finish him off, you just use your own blade. You order Kavin to yield and grovel before you. Never! Yield or perish! I shall not yield! Taking his chances, he- okay. Same diff! Well, this isn't working. What the hell?! Oh, this is gonna suck. Come on! Come on, Kavine! Why did it have to come down to the combat? I hate the combat in this game. It's the worst fucking part.
This sucks, guys. Ugh. Okay. That is very much not a- Yeah, what the hell? This is terrible. Ugh, why did it have to come down to the combat? <sighs> oh my god. Okay, I should just kill him when I have the chance, but something tells me if I do that, I'll be disqualified from being a paladin. Will killing Kevin make me not a paladin? You know what? Maybe I don't want to be a paladin. No, I can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't make that kind of choice. Or can I? Let's see here. Can I... I must not have done those actions. Okay, I cannot kill Kaveen. This is- this sucks. But something tells me that once we're past this part, Adavis isn't gonna be so, so tough. Damn, only 70 points to go. Yeah, but I feel like it's gonna give us, like, a lot. I know, I, I wanna finish this game tonight. I just can't take any hits here. <laughs> refuse to yield, refuse to yield, refuse to yield. Oh, shit. <coughs> I really wish it didn't come down to the combat. That is the worst part of this game. I mean, I could kill him. I could kill him right now and beat the game. But then I would never be a paladin. Ugh. Ugh. You know what? I beat the fucking beetle race. I can beat this shit. The control's not doing anything. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Fucking hitting dodge. Ah. Oh, Silent Devil. The shield does not do shit. Like, the shield is... Oh, hey, we're back. Okay. Can you guys see me? Can you hear me? 
In fairness, this is the stream I deserve. Thank you, Numu. I, I appreciate that. Yeah, that's tough. We back. All right, good shit. I'm sorry about that, guys. I don't know why OBS does that. I thought it was working so much better because it has been my last few streams, but then it just decided to be a butt. Anyway, we're, uh, we're gonna beat this Kavin guy. Somehow. I don't want to give up on being a paladin, but it's like, okay. Which do I want to do less? Give up on being a paladin? Or give up on, uh, or fight this guy? Because I really hate the combat in this game. And I suck at it. Refuse to yield. Refuse to yield. Refuse to yield. Get the sword back. Use shield. Shield doesn't work. Shield does not work at all. Well, I worked there a little bit. <clears throat> like, bash him in the head for that prompt. I tried that, and it didn't seem to do anything. So, for now, we're just gonna be- we're just gonna have to throw down. Fuck! Okay, why isn't it letting me move up? Am I just that backed against the wall? Fuck me! I can't even touch him. Fuck this! Oh my god. He just slaughtered me. Okay. This game seems super scuffed. It is, man. Okay, I'm gonna try and make this a little easier to do. Block will be that one. I'm gonna set it back to the defaults. Yeah, this is terrible, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I hate the combat in this game. Why'd it have to come down for... It is, it's, it is random. <laughs> and like the shield almost never works. I'm real tempted, guys. I'm really, really tempted. But if I do that, then I'll never be a paladin. Well, I guess actually if I'm in Quest for Glory, th I don't know. See, the shield doesn't do anything. Come on, slur, 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 sl
Nine. 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 Seven. I gotta keep him in this corner. Fuck! Shit! Suck! Nine! Nine! Nine, nine, nine. That sounds awful. I know, right? See, the shield does not do anything. Done dodging! Okay, we did slightly better that time. A few more tries, and then I'm gonna say fuck being a paladin, and I'm just gonna kill this guy. Because it's not worth this. It's not worth this! Like, if it were, like, a good combat system, it would be one thing. But this is not good combat. This is terrible combat. Yeah, and now he's doing all this crazy shit here, which he wasn't doing before. If this weren't such shit combat, it would be different. And I didn't do good that time. Like, I can't even hurt him at this point. I can't even begin to fight this guy.
All right, guys. This is my final attempt. If I die here, I'm gonna kill him when we disarm him, and I'm gonna say fuck being a paladin. Cuz... There's no point. There's no point. There's no point in putting myself through this. This game has awful, awful combat. And I'm not- I'm not gonna do this for like six hours in order to be a paladin. Like, I tried. I really did try. But I'm not- I'm not gonna- I'm gonna- I- I'm- what- this is my last shot. This is it. This is the last one. I'm hitting down! I'm hitting down! I'M HITTING DOWN! No paladin hood. Not gonna be a paladin, guys. I failed. I failed. You're a dead man. You are a fucking dead man. You're done! You're done! I'm gonna enjoy this. I'm gonna enjoy this. <laughs> Nope. I'm a paladin, damn it. I don't care what it takes. It'd be nice if any of the defensive maneuvers worked, though, because none of them do.
This sucks, though. Like, this is not good. This is a not good game design right here. This is awful. This is one of the worst things I've ever played. That's not true. That's me being hyperbolic. But wow, this is bad. <coughs> You motherfucker, let's do it. Like, seriously, though, there's no way, there's no way to defend yourself. Yeah, like he gets you in a combo, you can't get out the combo. Like that. I can't do anything about that. I can't do anything about that at all. Like I can't, I can't do anything about that either. I'm not even getting close. Combat options, auto battle assistance, enable, defense, Four times slash. Yeah, but I can't use any of them. They don't do anything. They can only be used under very specific circumstances. Yeah, no, the combat in this game sucks. It's horrible. So the fact that it's coming down to like a really difficult combat fight is just not going well for me.
I'm just getting worse because I'm getting angry. Oh yeah, the combat assistance doesn't do anything, man. I thought I'd try it, but like, none of this stuff does anything. Yeah, I set the game uh, skill down to bottom. I don't feel bad. I'm not sorry. Honestly, this fight is nonsense, so I cheat. I'm cheating. Yeah, I know. Like, the combat is so bad and broken. I'm not sorry. I ain't sorry at all. I deserve this. how it feels, Kaveen. Now you know how it feels to be me. I totally did that legitimately and have no reason to feel ashamed whatsoever. Yeah! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Go me! It was either that or give up. I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I be ashamed of myself? Did I dishonor myself? Am I not truly worthy of being a paladin because I didn't play the bullshit broken combat controls? I'll let you guys debate. And that's assuming that I didn't do something else that'll disqualify me. Do not be ashamed. Now, through the door at the top of the stairs is Iblis. There's some sort of spell on the door, but I don't know what it is. There's an awful lot of magic around here. Oh yeah, that's right. Iblis. Completely forgot about that shit. Please, you've got to do something. Hurry. What we have to do is save the goddamn game. Oh! 
okay. Do something! Uh... Dispel potion? It was an okay Karen. I should have done something differently. Yeah, I'm sure. Hear me, O oh dark powers. Light the darkness and bind Iblis to me forever. You seem to have triggered a magical spell on that statue, master. What is the djinn trying to say? The last candle! Iblis is free! Okay... Is it just me or does this game just completely falling apart at this end? Hear me, O oh dark powers. Light the darkness and bind Iblis to me forever. I seem to have triggered a magical spell. Another candle, Master, hurry! It's uh, not letting me do- Oh, I can escape, okay. That's weird. Okay. I cannot use the bells to blow down the candle. Cannot use the bells to blow down the candle. That wouldn't do anything useful. Okay, so it's not the wind elemental. Also, is it just me or is the game suddenly like that part seems to be going really, really fast? I don't know why. Yeah, Silly Clown's on. I think it makes certain characters the Marx Brothers, but I'm not sure. Light the darkness to find it. You seem to have a magic spell on that statue, Master. Okay, fighting it doesn't do anything. Fighting the fucking statue. Okay. Maybe if I stab the statue in the dick a whole bunch, it'll do something. Wow, this game really is taking it in the ass. This game's got- this is- this sucks. This sucks!
You! My spell is broken! You will die! Yes, I looked at a walkthrough. I don't care, this game's not worth it. There's a lot of great things about it, but like... Eh, I'm not gonna wait for that. Fool! You cannot hurt me, and now I shall send thee to thy death! Well, only a walkthrough for that part, though. I haven't- I don't know about this part. Please, Master, hurry! We don't have much time left! You should've got a charge from that lightning. Perhaps you should've been galvanized into action instead. Okay. You, my spell is broken. You will die. Haha, you cannot hurt me and I will send thee to thy death. Slow the fuck down, game. Okay, I don't know why the game is moving so fast. You can't get the Statue of Iblis. It's good. Expand everyday adventuring. Expand everyday adventuring. Fire doesn't like water. We haven't used the water elemental for anything. Maybe I gotta smash the statue of Iblis? Going in slow motion. The statue has been destroyed. What the fuck can I do here? I got this oil I've been carrying the whole time. Could that be it? Is that what we need to do? No! No! Master! Help me! We did it! Hooray! Yeah, I know. I'm not sorry. Thank you, Master! Now I can take Iblis back to his tomb where he be safe for another thousand years and a year! I knew I would remember it. The real prophecy is... One thousand years and a year, so shall Iblis be caught in the tombstone of the city where he and I once fought. Until moonlight has captured twixt Scorpion and Drake, then comes a hero from the north and ancient powers wake. Led and followed by a dark one, guide to deceit and despair, passing through the trial by fire, title drop, passing through... 
Trials of earth, water, earth, and air. Passing through the door unopened, barrier that yields to none. By my name of Suleiman, so shall this be done. <clears throat> Come at last unto betrayal, and to he who waits behind. Seek ye then to capture Iblis, ere he rises unconfined. Else shall come the night eternal, darkness overshadows light. Unless a hero seeks the darkness and restores the wrongs to right. Bye bye, master! It's been fun! <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice from all the voice acting I've been doing. <clears throat> With the help of the slave woman Mazen, you found the Emir Ali hiding in his bedroom. With your urging and a few sharp remarks from Mazen, the Emir swore he'd restore the city. By the first light of dawn, the Emir Ali al-Din Hassan ordered all fighting to cease and proclaimed the evil rule of Johnny Fuckface and Kaveen to be over. As the Emir began an incredibly dull speech, you slipped away to complete your quest. You stand beside the cracked and dry fountain in Razier's Plaza. You hold in your hands the water skin containing the water elemental that you captured so long ago in Shapir. <clears throat> the elemental under your command is released into the fountain. She's making it rain. You stare in wonder at the powerful transformation of the plaza by the magic of the water elemental. <clears throat> hey, that's what we left in the last game. The Sultan personally sent me to return you to his palace, hero of all, Shapir. The palace of the Sultan. Although I'm sketched out by these guys. The hero we deserve. Thou shalt stand before the Sultan Harun al-Rashid. May he reign forever to be judged. Will anyone speak for the stranger of the north? <clears throat> we shall speak for the hero we deserve. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> we are Shamin and Shima, keepers of the Kata Tales Inn. When the Kata were driven from Razir, we journeyed to the Northland in search of a hero. We met the hero we deserve. Through his courage and skills, he restored the barren son and daughter, and banished the wicked Baba Yaga. Check out our playthrough of Quest for Glory 1 to get the deets on us doing that. He became the hero of Spielberg. He journeyed here with us, back to Shapir. Here he defeated the elementals of fire, air, earth, and water to save our city. He is a true hero. Who will speak for this hero of Spielberg? I shall speak for the hero we deserve. Who's this guy? I am Walid, a god of the palace and a member of the Eternal Order of Fighters. I am Walid. I swear, it's Walid. This man vanquished me in a fair fight and demonstrated great skills in combat. When I lay helpless upon the ground, he was given orders by the members of EOF to kill me. Instead, he showed me mercy. This man is a true hero. Who will speak for this man of mercy? I shall speak for the hero we deserve. I am the Enchantress Aziza. This man of his own free will went into the desert and sought the plant woman, Julanar. Through his kindness and compassion, he allowed Julinar to forget the pain and suffering of her past and to again face life with joy. This man also found a caged beast in the desert. 
Though it was wicked and most foul, the hero we deserve turned aside its wickedness and restored its humanity. We, ho we shall hope it may learn from the kindness of the hero. This man is a true hero. Who will speak for this man of kindness? I shall speak for the hero we deserve. I am Zaisha, daughter of the Emir Ali al-Din Hassan. In order to escape the repression of my homeland, Rezia, I asked this stranger for aid. At the risk of his own life, he helped me escape from the city. He is a true hero. Yeah, keep it coming. Praise me! Who will speak for this man of courage? Gronk. Then let him have a voice that he may speak. You offer one of your dispel potions to the Saurus. It's about time. When Adavis transformed me into a Saurus, I lost all hope of returning to my own form. Yet this man showed me his courage, kindness, and honor. I knew that the hero we deserve would restore me. Who will speak for this man of honor? This is one hell of an ending. The Sultan shall speak for the hero we deserve. I am Harun al-Rashad, Sultan of the land of Shapir. Oh shit. The poet is the Sultan? I've been shit-talking the Sultan this whole time? I am the poet Omar, teller of tales for all to hear. Hey, well, all those times I told you you sucked, I didn't mean it, man. I was just joshing. I was just poking fun. By the words which have been spoken. By the deeds that have been done. I proclaim this man a hero. I now call this man my son. Okay, son, huh? Is there anyone now who will speak for this son of the Sultan? Paladin! <coughs> I shall sp I shall speak for him! This man has shown courage in the face of great danger! Kindness to those in need, generosity to the poor! Honesty in dealing with others, and mercy to his enemies. He is a man of great honor. The hero we deserve, I, Rasha Rakish Satana, offer you my sword, Soulforge. Will you accept it, and the title of Paladin that comes with it? Yes. You tell Rakish you are honored to accept the title. We did it, guys! We made it! Then you are now a paladin! Yes! Flaming sword! Just what I wanted. Paladin. And that will stay with us all the games hence. <laughs> I have the power! Congratulations! You have successfully completed Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. Your final score was 530 out of 550 possible points. Oh my god, we did it, guys! If you have not already done so, we encourage you to play Quest for Glory 2 again with the other two character types. Many of the puzzles are different and have alternative solutions. 
In the meantime, you are already a winner. Your hero will now be saved for use in Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. Thank you, Silent Devil. I feel, I do feel a little cheap, but I worked hard. And this game is broken, so I'm the hero we deserve. That's right. Export. Invalid characters, right, like spaces. The pal your paladin has been saved as the pallid.save in the game directory for use in Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. Which is why I've wanted to do this whole thing. We're taking this guy through the whole five game saga. Thank you for playing Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire, and congratulations again on winning. We'll see you again soon in Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. Oh boy! What is the Wage of War? Salt? We're gonna find out, Silent Devil, next week. So, for those of you who are wondering how I do things, every Monday when I stream, we stream Quest for Glory. We've been doing that for the past couple months. We have now beaten two games in the series. Next week, we will start game number three. And then we're just, we're going to go all the way. We're going to take the hero we deserve all the way through Quest for Glory 5. And we'll have it all recorded and we can all have these memories forever. And we will have shared this quest and shared this journey. I was really hard on this game. There are a lot of aspects that were kind of aged poorly. And some that were kind of just broken. I don't regret playing it. I would hesitate to call it a truly god-awful game. But it was very frustrating at points, and a little slow-moving. It would be amazing for the time, when it's like, this would be the only game you'd have, and you would just be waiting and waiting, you know? You, would have, you wouldn't mind the fact that there's, like, filler days where nothing happens and you're just grinding. You wouldn't mind, like, the difficulty of the combat and how broken that was. You could deal with it. Playing it today, very difficult and frustrating. I'm glad we made through it. I'm glad we made it through, though. And yeah, all the characters we met. There's a lot of great things about this game. There's a lot of things I really like. And so as the moon moves slowly through the starry sky above the mountains and the desert of Shapir, our hero bids a fond adieu to the latest set of adventures and miserable puns. Where will the road lead next? But wait, there's more to come. The next thrilling saga of Quest for Glory by Lori and Cory. Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. What the hell's going on with that moon? Who's that? It's Megatron from Beast Wars. Come face me, the hero we deserve. Yes. Oh, and it just completely kicked me out of the thing, I guess. Yeah, it's a Marvel post credit scene. Well, the last game had one, too. Where, at the end, we got on a magic carpet, and the Kata were like, You're gonna, we're gonna take you to our home world. And we flew off on the carpet, and this game began with us arriving on the carpet. You know, and we imported our save file from that. And that whole thing is really, really cool. Really, really ahead of its time. And I'm enjoying that aspect. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been the stream you deserve. Quest for Glory 2, Trial by Fire. The hero we deserve will return next week. Monday, 8.30 Mountain Standard Time, 7.30 Pacific, 10.30 East Coast, and etc., etc., for all various time zones and locations, whereupon he will be making his journey, now that he's a fucking paladin, to Quest for Glory 3, Wages of War. I will be back later this week with more Donkey Kong 64 100% run, and maybe just one variety stream, you know, of just one random one-off game to play. I'm not sure what. I might just do Donkey Kong. What time Australian Eastern Standard Time? I have no idea, Silent Devil, unfortunately. I will look that up and message it to you if you truly want to know. Alright guys, 
Thank you so much for bearing with me. Thank you for bearing with the frustrations. We will see the hero we deserve in a week's time, and I will be seeing you guys much, much sooner than that. Okay. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your night, day, whatever. I will see you guys later. Bye, everyone.